Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear from your side. Please let me know if you have any difficulty. Otherwise, we have to contact the customer service of Dr. Zach and Nag. And, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, yesterday uh, there's Abdul. He sent me a message on Facebook. He said to me, Christian Prince. Oh, hold on, hold on. Why I want to say to you what he said to me. What about I play it for you? That would be better for fun. Oh, I deleted. Uh, sorry, I cannot play it for you. Yeah. Anyway, said the Christian Prince, you are the one who is lying to Muslims. This guy is so upset because Muslims are leaving Islam watching my program. And you are running away from me. I do. I keep running away. I am here every day almost for four, five, six hours. Still, the Muslims cannot find me and they cannot call me. Uh, but this Abdul, he want only to debate in Facebook because I think he heard that Facebook only is halal and uh, Skype is haram. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what a bunch of kids. They want to show themselves that they are they can debate Christian Prince, but they don't dare to call Christian Prince. But at the same time, we have to do something about Christian Prince. So we challenge Christian Prince, but we don't go to debate Christian Prince, and that will make us look like we debated Christian Prince. Forget about Christian Prince, and everybody is welcome. I will open my Skype in a few minutes. So Muslims only can call me as a start. Uh, we start today our program with chapter 81, verse number 8. A Muslim Abdul, he sent me uh, a question. He said, if Islam... Uh, you said in your video, name for me one th one good thing about Muhammad. And he said to me, what about this verse? This verse, according to Muslims, that the Arab, they used to bury their daughters if she is a female. And they bury, it, bury her even alive. Uh, first of all, this is a big fat lie. Muslims, they keep repeating and only idiot can believe it. I want those who listen to us today to cut this part of the video and make it short about this question and the answer. Just to show you how Muslim they fabricate, this is the translation as you see. In Arabic, it does not say anywhere the word girl. Nowhere. Nada. It's a big fat lie. Where is the word girl is coming from? Why we see the word girl here? You will notice with me how they fabricate. Do you see the word before it here and in the, in the verse before it? And when the soul are buried. When the soul is buried. And then the word here is al-maw'uda. What is al-maw'uda? Su'ilat. Which one is the maw'uda? Is the soul. Maw'uda means like the one which you know uh, uh, you bury it alive and the mu'uda bury it alive because the soul is stay alive muhammad he believe and the muslim they believe that even you will have a torture in the punishment of the grave correct you remember and most of the torture is from the piss and watch watch over your piss my friend so look what they look what they how they corrupt the translation and the, even the meaning the word here simply when the soul is buried the soul which is alive the word girl here does not exist period when it's buried alive is going to be asked and this is why the soul is going to be asked otherwise the one who is buried you cannot talk to him he's dead so supposedly the soul is talking and then he say, for what a crime she was killed. That's that that's a lie. You see, Qutilat is for the soul. Qutilat here is coming as a fame, yes, as a word, but the word which is a nafs. Now, how we can prove that this is the true interpretation? Let us go together. The Muslims, by the way, again, they are people who they are disconnected with their religion. This is the website of Ahlul Quran. Ahlul Quran, the people of Quran. This is not Christian Prince. This is not me, Abdul. All right? I have nothing to do with it. 
So don't tell me a Christian prince, uh, he have his own fabrication, his own uh, interpretation uh, he gave us. You know, don't play this stupid game. As you see, this is Ahlul Quran website. Ahlul Quran mean the people of the Quran. Very, very Quranic people. Let us see what it says about tafsir. Tafsir al-Mawuda wa nafs al-Mu'azzaba. Tafsir. You know what? I'm going to use Google Translation. Hold on. Because the Muslim, they might say even he is using, even Google Translation is not really good, but I mean better than nothing. Give me a second. Let's open Google Translation. Google Translation. <clears throat> We are in Google Translation. We will copy and paste in the front of your eyes. So this is the tafsir, as you see. We'll take line by line, because sometimes if you go long, it go damage. All right. And I will paste in the front of your eyes. It uh, translates into, I don't know what language now. Okay, hold on. Let us go to English. Where is the English? There we go. Interpretation for the tortured soul, not the infant. Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see it? They are correcting the idiot. This is your Muslims. This is who? This is the Muslims. Correcting the Muslims. Because there's two kinds of Muslims. There's Muslims who they are certified ignorant, and there's Muslims who they are PhD ignorant, and there's Muslims who they are beyond degrees in their, in their ignorance. So this is the title confirming that this is not about an infant. Interpretation of torture the soul or the tortured soul, not the infant. So what they say to you about it, it's a lie. We can read the whole story, you know, but that will not really make any difference. But let us see. Let us continue. <clears throat> Here they're saying that, that some of the tafsir, they believe that this is mean about the infant when it, when it was buried. Because of being poor and because of a shame and because of etc. And they explain it in such a way. However, uh, here they are giving you examples. Uh, Tafsir al-Bayan saying that. Uh, you know. Tafsir al-Tabari. They are giving you an example here. And then they say to you. Uh, that there is another reading for the verse in the Quran, which it says, when it is questioned and killed, which means the mauda, which means the one is buried. He, she, the 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 soul itself is going to question why I was killed, and is going to ask the one who killed her why he killed her. Let us take this to Google translation. And see what it says. The Muslims, they repeat a lie. You know, we have a lie. We repeat it over and over and over. And then we believe the lie. And that's it. I mean, that's it. What do you want more? Okay. We find the reading known as ask uh, uh, and ask. Killed, and there is another reading, ask, and killed in the sense that Al-Mawuda is the one who is wondering and is not being asked. Okay, so there's two kinds of interpretations saying. One is saying that maybe God will ask the one who is buried or the one who is buried is going to ask the one who killed her, why you killed me? Hmm? 
Why you kill me in that day? We continue. <clears throat> Here they say in both in both ideas there's a problem. If it is the baby girl, the baby girl who cannot cannot talk if she's an infant because she don't even know the language. As Allah, He said in the chapter of the chapter of Nahl, "Wallahu akhrajakum min butuni ummahatakum la ta'lamun shi'a." So here they are getting the Abdul Busted saying that how the baby is going to talk if Allah He confirmed in the Quran in the chapter of the bees was that Allah he, he he took you from the belly of your mother and you know nothing which means she cannot talk she cannot she don't she know nothing which means she have no knowledge of what kill, what killing me uh, so how how this would happen uh, and and here they continue this is scholar a woman thumma and based on this she is not going to to be asked and she is not going to ask Okay, so he continues, he says, and then we go back to the chapter of Al-Baqarah where Allah, he says, Wala The same word is used in this verse, appear in this verse here, I mean in the verse about the baby supposedly, appear in this verse. He says, Which mean, you know, he's not going to be uh, like a question, or let us say, is not going to be uh, 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 is not going to be hard on him to 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 keep the the, the sky and the earth together. Uh, he's not going to be tired from keeping the sky and the earth together. The same exact word. Then he go back. The scholar he says, "Naudu li kalimat qutilat, faqat tama tafsirha kama huwa fil mashhur min maani lafz," and he says. And the tafsir came here as most fa most famous interpretation for the word of the meaning, which means the one who killed somebody by slaughtering or by or by death, uh, uh, normal death. And he said, "Who uh, there is another meaning, And there is other meaning which is called. Now we are going like going in details, a uh, land which means cursing. So he says. Uh, uh, Allah, may Allah kill them, you know, and uh, and and may He like, uh, you know, like expose them and destroy them, and and what is meant here, Allah, Allah He cursed them, how they became kuffar in other meaning, Allah He punished them because they lie, and Allah He says is the same in the chapter of Abasa, قتل الإنسان ما أكفره قتل الإنسان ما أكفره uh, 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 which mean uh, I curse the man by his kufr and his lie but he used the word qatl here qatl which means to kill so what what here the verse saying that Allah is like wishing the man to be killed for he is a liar and he is a for, for he's a deceiver and here again this is a proof that Allah cannot be God because why Allah he says such a thing qatl al-insan ma akfara let, let us take this uh, verse and go to the English so you can read with me what it says so we can love together at this at this false religion all right see perish the man how thankless he is Allah is asking his God to perish the man well if he is God I mean what what kind of uh, what kind of wish that wish is? I mean, you're into God, perish him, let him go, you know. But it's a wish, it's, it's a prayer. Again, Allah, He pray. So Allah, He's saying, perish the man, perish the man, you know, kill, like, it's a wish to kill him, but he cannot do it. Uh, the rest of the, of the verses. And anyway, as you see here, and then He says, thumma, I'm going to copy this, and post it in Google as it is just to make it short and simple all right therefore the meaning has nothing to do with killing of girls and infants and the meaning of the phrase is if the mother was asked 
uh, this is the word mother here is wrong you know uh, uh, if if the soul is asked what was wrong what what's wrong like what's wrong she did you know the soul the soul okay the soul of the person is a is a is the one is a, is a female here the soul you know uh, what's wrong that she did the soul and if uh, uh, if, uh, if um, the tr tr tried what tried no wrong translation here and which for what is, what is the reason she was killed you know what the reason she was uh, tortured and what she was the reason she was uh, 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 suffer you know like living in suffering uh, in other words the torture soul was asked if any reason I is torture you see it so it's very clear that this is a false interpretation for the Muslim they use it to tell you that Islam is stop curse uh, killing infant uh, first of all if the if if the Arab they used to kill infant then where is the Arab have their women from I mean the Arab they will perish themselves imagine if we any society kill the kill the girls who is left right this is a big fat lie can you name for us the ones who killed the, their babies so this is a Muslim website and this is a Muslim scholar and as you see this is Ahlul Quran let me show again the website those are not Christians those are not Jews those are not Hindus and they are Muslim Sunni Ahlul Quran all right you see it Ahlul Quran so stop lying and fabricating stories now we finish this and here we go let me post the link for you for those who wanna go and read it from the Muslim Abdul just for entertaining all right I hope the link is coming from your side got it now we go to the second question we have another Abdul asking me a question let me see the other Abdul <clears throat> this is another question in uh, in Facebook I have a question for you from a Muslim which religion is it true Islam or Christianity I have a few questions if you can answer them why you are scared if you are knowledgeable <laughs> I mean I guys I am scared but yet I am here every day and my Skype is open for many hours uh, hold on let me be sure that my Skype is open Abdul Islam the only religion in the world is true and the proof is very simple that the God of Islam will provide us with 80,000 women who have a very beautiful vagina I mean who can be that Islam is the only true religion brother because Islam is the only religion provide us with 80,000 child to be abused in the heaven to be our slave for eternity brother a brother Islam is the only true religion because it is the only religion which provide us with English penis which is scaring the hell of me because imagine I am here in USA and the penis is in China and the Chinese they take it and they cut it off and they put it in cans and sell it to the cats as dogs food to the cats as dogs food remember not to the go the dogs as dogs food no brother I mean who can beat this religion brother wisdom no fiction no stupidity and you are telling me how for sure Islam is the best religion in the world who can beat that who can beat a prophet who he said that if a woman have orgasm first the baby will be a girl if a if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy I mean come on we have to be realistic here my Skype is open for those who they are interested to call me from the Muslims only don't call me if you are a Christian don't call me if you are a Christian All right, unless you are an, um, uh, someone who want to leave Islam, which means still you are the Christian yet, or if you're someone left Islam, you want to tell us about what you what happened. 
So, our topic today, if Muhammad is a madman, what do you think, guys? Is Muhammad a madman or he is a healthy man? Is Muhammad a person who can be considered someone he have a healthy mind, healthy spirit, um, uh, you know, blessed by God? You see, because, by the way, uh, be careful. When I say uh, healthy man, not necessarily if you are not healthy, you are not blessed. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. But when somebody claiming to be a prophet of God, willing to deceive hundreds of millions just for the sake of his own, that is kind of sickness. But this sickness will be punished. There's sickness. It's not your fault to be sick with it. Even if you are crazy, God is about justice, right? But there's some kind of sickness where you will be punished for your lies and for your sickness because this is sickness of your choice. And, you know, Muhammad, obviously, he have, a, he have sickness. He knew about it. And he chose to use his sickness to take over people. Now, who is the Muslim when I give us the first shot for today? Was Muhammad a madman or a smart man? You know, the first thing you will you will learn about Muhammad. Muhammad, he hear voices, and the voices cannot be explained. If you go as an example, there is a very famous story about Muhammad in chapter of Al Fatiha. Chapter of Al Fatiha, which Muslim recite every day, five times a day. Five times a day. Muhammad, he received it during the time he was doing poopoo. -poo. Each time he go out, he hear a sound of somebody saying to him, Oh, Muhammad. Now, if you think about it, there's no reason, there's no reason for such a thing to happen. Because Muhammad already supposedly is established prophet and already he spoke to uh, Jibreel many times. And even Jibreel came to him in a shape of Lahir Kalbi as he claimed. So what this voice is about? And why this voice is mysterious? Read with me carefully. <clears throat> uh, and whenever, and whenever, whenever who? Muhammad. Whenever he heard, sorry, let's go back from here. The message of Allah, Allah bless him, this is, by the way, this is a false translation. doesn't say Allah bless him. It says Allah pray on him and salute him. Whenever he went out, used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. Now, let me do it in the same way, Muhammad Hijab. <laughs> oh, Muhammad. And look what Muhammad, and this is proven to us that Muhammad is a crazy man. And whenever he hear this, what Muhammad he do? He flee. Question to the Muslims. Oh, my screen is not on. Hold on. Let me show you my screen. Forgive me. Forgive me. Here we go. We go back from, from zero. This is a chapter one, verse number one, the, the, uh, the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Asbab al Nuzul means the reason for the verses to come down. So this book supposed to explain why verses came down. And as you see here, it says it clearly that Muhammad, whenever he go out to do pupu, he hears somebody. Whenever he went out, you know, tabarraza uh, or baraza, which is to do buraz, to do shit, excuse my language, he used to hear someone calling him, O oh, Muhammad. First of all, what do you mean whenever he go out, he hears someone calling him? Isn't it Muhammad, he said, that I never received Quran except in the clothes of Aisha? So what do you mean when he go out? You see the word mirt? The Muslim, they say to us, lying to us, that the word here is not a clothing. Here the word, the word sheet, does not exist. It's, it's a mirt. It's a cloth. 
sheet of a clothes. Have you ever heard of a sheet of a cloth? What does that mean? <laughs> so Muhammad, he wears always the clothes of his wives. He is a cross dresser, and this is again another sign that he is mentally ill. Same time, Muhammad he confirmed that he never received Quran unless he is in the clothes of Aisha. Let us see. <clears throat> Where is the mart? Here we go. Uh, no, hold on. Actually, here, this is a good reference here. When the Muslim, they say to you that Muhammad was not wearing the clothes of Aisha, read with me carefully here. Let us see the translation first. Uh, Abu Bakr asked for a permission to come into the messenger of Allah may Allah pray on him and salute him while he was laying of Aisha bed wearing Aisha woolen shirt this is the Muslim translation do you see it now somebody might ask himself how, how small Muhammad is to wear Aisha Clothes, you see, those clothes are like wide. You know, it's not like uh, because they uh, in the old days uh, to give the women and even men. This is what if you see uh, the Arabian, Arabian, uh, even even in Egypt, uh, they were they were something that's called jalabiya. So it goes down and then it's really wide open. So when you walk, you can walk easy. You know, like you know, because you are going to wear this long dress, but still you have to do all the work you want to do. You want to walk, you might run, you might etc. So this is a wide clothes. So Muhammad clearly he is wearing the clothes of Aisha, and this is a clear sign that Muhammad have a mental issue. And here, let me let me give you the link, so Muslims will not say to you, "Oh, he's fabricating." Let's uh, share the link. Anyone want the link? Who want the link? Who want the link? Who is the Muslim here? Wanna call us and tell us why Muhammad wearing Aisha clothes? Any Muslim? Alhamdulillah. Takbir, the Prophet, uh, the only Prophet who wear his wife's clothes is the Prophet, peace upon him. The cross dresser Prophet. Unbelievable. You see it? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Save the reference, please, because later you might ask me for it and say, Christian Prince, can you find it to me? And then I will say to you, why oh, you did not save it? I'm not here to be your library. I have thousands of people ask me questions. So as you see, Muhammad always, he wear his wife clothes. Same time, Mirtu Aisha. Is a magical mirth. The cloth of Aisha is a magical cloth. Muhammad he claimed that he never received Quran except on the clothes of Aisha. Let me see if I can find the reference for you faster. Hold on. Um, the reference, the reference. Okay. Here we go. We found the reference. That's good. Let us go back. All right. Muhammad, he said, don't hurt me in Aisha, for I never received. Look at the Muslim false translation. He said, as 
the divine inspiration never come to me in any the Muslim translation any bed except the bed of Aisha but we showed you that this is the word Marut is a clothing is a clothing of women do you see how they lie actually we can go and see additional proof that the word Marut mean a clothing of women Let us see. <clears throat> Where is the Murat? Here we go. The word Murat in the Tafsir here says. That this is a this is a kind of a cloth only for women. Only for women. Nobody wear it. Nobody wear it except women. Do you see Muslims? Nobody wear it except women. Period. So this is a proving that Muhammad he is wearing his wife clothes. In the same time, if we go back into the interpretation there, Muhammad he said. Or the story here saying that Muhammad he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha while he is doing poo-poo. He hear a voice, he hear a sound saying, Oh Muhammad. And by the way, me myself, I hear voices sometimes, uh, to be honest with you. But then I discovered that it was gas. Have nothing to do really with any Al-Fatiha or anything of that, you know. It was gas. You know things happen Muhammad he go to the bathroom and it says whenever whenever you know the song whenever what so whenever Muhammad he go to the bathroom always he hear a sound saying to him oh Muhammad and Muhammad he answer back oh what the heck and he run away why Muhammad he used to flee any Muslim can explain to us. He is a prophet of God. He met Jibreel many times. Jibreel came to him in the shape of, of a man, the shape of the hill Kalbi. Uh, he came to him as a shape an angel, of an angel, supposedly. So why Muhammad is running away? Who is a Muslim when I call me in Skype? Why Muhammad is running away? And how Muhammad he says I never received Quran except in the clothes of Aisha. So what about the clothes of Khadija? What about the house of Khadija? The Muslim they say the word here thawb uh, mean uh, mean house sometimes even they lie. Well about what about then Khadija? He never received Quran in the house of Khadija. So either Muhammad is a liar or Muhammad is a crazy man. You see if we go in the Quran. If you go in the Quran, you will find the Arab saying to Muhammad, you are a Majnoon. Look how many times. Look, look how many times, brother. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. وقالوا Ya ayyuhal ladhi nazzala alayhi dhikra inna kala majnoon. Translation, please, brother. And they said, oh, who you received. Message, you are insane. The Arab, in the time of Muhammad, they said Muhammad is insane. The Muslims, they say to you that the Arab, when they spoke to Muhammad at that time, the Arab, they were amazed of how amazing the Quran. Do you see it? By the way, we are waiting for the Muslims to call us. And as you see, I'm running away from you, people. People, people, be honest with me. How many of you miss me? How many of you miss me if I don't go on, on, on air? 
I want to I want to I want to see if uh, I am insane to be missed <laughs> like Muhammad because the Muslims they say Prophet of Allah we love you we miss you like you never met him you idiot you never even heard his voice what you missed about him look he is in, he's insane obviously he's wearing his wife clothes the guy who received Quran when he's doing poo poo all right all right I got it I got all of you you miss me okay I'm going to win the coming election and I will become a prophet of Allah and I will bring you better promises than Muhammad I will you see Muhammad he never mentioned 4k TV I will promise you even 12k TV in the heaven free internet unlimited unlimited text messages unlimited uh, uh, Netflix unlimited movies I mean this is really will be heaven but look at the heaven of Allah he will give me a couch what what do you mean you want to give me a couch God he promised me a heaven and the heaven have a couch and then he described to me or he says I will be reclining in the couch this is God this is God huh. and I will be wearing a bracelet all my life brother all my life I wanted to wear a bracelet brother hmm? these have the Garden of Eden beneath which river flow reclining on a comfortable furnishing by the way it doesn't say any furnishing it says uh, couches they will be adorned with the bracelet of gold me that's so beautiful and not only that not only that <sighs> we are going to wear all of us all of us all of us we will wear a green uniform Mm -hmm. and will will wear a green garment of silk and the brocade what a wonderful reward are you kidding me this is the best reward ever anyone can get <laughs> come on <laughs> It is the dream. It is the dream of every person in the world. Actually, I heard that when George Bush, the father, he died, before he died, he said, I'm going to go to heaven. Poor George Bush. You are not going to go to the heaven of Muhammad. Otherwise, you will get a couch and you will get a green garment. I mean, I feel sorry for you. Oh boy and you are telling me Muhammad is not a crazy man what kind of a man he promised such a promises unless he is a mental this guy obviously he is trying to seduce the Arab who they are you know savage who never have a couch they never wear silk clothes an Arab will be wearing a bracelet of gold like wow me an Arab and I am wearing a bracelet of gold by the way this is a sign of a like a gay thing bracelet of gold why you want to be pretty sexy uh, you want to look at yourself in the mirror and what is that a green garment which we will wear for eternity I mean how boring it is to wear a green I never all my life wear a green I like a green color don't take me wrong but not as a clothes I mean you feel like you are a, a doctor in the surgery room you know I mean for eternity you will be wearing a green why additional proof that Muhammad is mentally ill if you see here with me Muhammad he keep repeating 
the same promises all over the Quran. I mean, it's the same boring, stupid thing. Why Allah need to repeat himself over and over and over? If Allah is God, God, he don't repeat himself in vain. You know, that's it. There's no need to keep repeating myself. So Muhammad obviously he hear voices and we showed you Muhammad wearing his women clothes and there is the Quran the Arab they call Muhammad many times crazy and by the way if somebody call you crazy not necessarily to be crazy it might be positive sometime because maybe you're a genius but obviously Muhammad cannot be a genius because when a man he says if the man if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a girl Obviously, this guy is an idiot. Hmm? This is have nothing to do with being a genius. This has to do with being an idiot and a liar. Because I should not speak of something I do not know unless I know. And yesterday, actually, we spoke about that. And a Muslim, he called us and we showed him that Muhammad, he said that this information, he claimed that this is information coming from Jibreel. He said, Jibreel just told me. Jibreel, he just told me. You know, Muslims, as long now you know how to control the gender, and you Muslims don't like to have female babies, what about you practice this? Let us see if you can have just the boys. Just do it. You, you come first. Actually, Muslim women, they never come. Muslim women, they never come. That's mean you should have 100% baby boy. Because Muslim women, they do circumcision for them. And women, if you circumcise her, simply as if you cut the penis of a man, she will never feel anything. She will never have orgasm. Additional proof that Muhammad is doing a scam and he is lying. He is trying to claim that he knew and he claimed that, you know, uh, uh, Allah told him, where Muhammad, he got this information that if uh, whoever comes first, the baby will be a girl. Muhammad, he got it from, uh, from Allah. Jibreel told him, brother, Jibreel. Jibreel told me. Oh, boy. If we go here, let us see. You remember the Jewish guy, he came to Muhammad, he said to him, I want to ask you three, three things nobody knows unless he is a prophet. Unless he is a prophet. Unless. And he asked him, what make the baby resemble the mother or the father, which means be a girl or a boy? Muhammad, he answered him, he said, Just now. Just now, Jibreel has informed me about that. Wow. Okay, brother, what Jibreel he informed you? Let us call Zakir Naik and ask him, what was going on here? Tadadun, tadadun. Tadadun, tadadun. Tadadun, tadadun. Brother Zakir Naik. First of all, Christian Prince, I told you 100 times, don't call me when I am having sex with my wife. You are doing sexual harassment and you are abusing me. I'm going to report you to the FBI. Brother, I just have a question about what the prophet, he said here. Can you please just ask us, like inform us because you are the only true, true scholar in the world, brother. Okay, what is the question? Uh, a guy, he asked the prophet, what make the baby resemble the father or the mother? And the prophet, he said, just now, Jibreel informed me. Can you explain? Brother Sitter, the prophet, he have a special antenna. As example, today you have a cell phone. Somebody takes your message and he live in China and you leave the message right away after one second. So if a person, he can receive a message like this, what about Allah? So Allah, he sent him a text message. Most likely, it's a voice message in his brain. He said to him in his side of the brain, 
Uh, this is uh, that info that they told me. Thank you very much. Uh huh. But isn't it the Quran says that the angels take them one thousand years to go to up to heaven, which means the same to go down to earth? How how the answer the question just given to him and now he was he's, he's receiving the answer? How is that happening, brother? That there, listen carefully. Don't false accusation is done by a guy in name of the Christian prince, and he is a coward. He don't tell his faith. What? Show me your faith. Show me your faith. Give me your name. I'm not going to answer you unless you tell me your faith. Uh, brother, forget about Christian Prince and showing his face. Why you don't give us the answer for the question? First of all, if I give you the answer for the question, that will kill the surprise. And I like surprises. I want to surprise the guy and I want to destroy him. Uh, but the brother, it's the Muslims who want to know the answer. How Muhammad he got the answer? I'm not going to tell you any answer because I told you I will save that for the boxing match. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Show us your face. This is the answer. And this is a prophet of God. And this is God. Mm -hmm. Who is the Muslim wanna kill me by his questions? You see, Muslims are not violent people. They wanna kill you by their answers only. Who is a Muslim wanna destroy me? Uh, there is a guy. His name is Samshi. Samshi. He's a, he have he have I think five or six lost to a teeth like Muhammad. By the way, how Muhammad can recite the Quran and he have no teeth? Because according to the Quran, the Hadith, Muhammad he lost all the front teeth of his mouth in the first age of his prophet prophethood. So how Muhammad recited the Quran? The guy he have no teeth, and at that time you cannot replace them. Let it go. Let it go. So Muhammad obviously he is suffering from mental issue. When a man he claimed that Jibril told him that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And when the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. He is claiming that he is receiving that from God. And that can't be from God. So it's going to be from who? Either you as a Muslim, you have to admit that Muhammad is a, a suffering from mental issues. Or Muhammad is a false prophet. Choose one. Choose one. I will give you another example. <clears throat> When Muhammad first time, he saw supposedly an angel. Look, the translation here is gone. What? What is the rest of the? What happened? Look, what happened to the hadith? Look how long the hadith is. Look, 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 look how long the hadith is. Look, 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 look. But in English, it's gone. Look, 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 <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> Did I want to show you what happened later? Is it true in the hadith they said that Muhammad he came home and he said to his wife, Cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me. And he was shaking and he was breaking and he was freaking out. And even he asked them to put the and, and to put cold water on him. Why is that? They try to hide it in different place, but we find it here. I asked Abu Salama, what was revealed as first of the Quran? He said, the Shrod one. I said, oh, recite, ah, Shrod one, Al Mudathir. You see here, by the way, the Muslims are not sure which one is the first verse came in the Quran. Why? Because Muhammad obviously is a madman. He re reported many stories. So why here they are saying the Shroded one is the first verse Muhammad received? And actually, it makes sense, by the way, that this is the first one. Because, Ya ayyuhal mudathir, simply Allah saying to him, let me show you the verse. Until now, we have zero Muslim calling. I don't know what's happening. My Skype is on. 
and there is no reason to fear. Allah will take your side. This is a chapter number 74. Chapter 74, as you see. And this is verse number one. It says, Oh, the one who is like, you know, in such a situation, you are shaking, breaking, covering yourself, whatever you want to call it. Arise and warn and magnify your Lord and purify your clothes. Why? Because Muhammad and abandon the abomination, which is the idol, she, the, the Rajas here is the idol. So obviously, Muhammad, he was an idol worshiper. You see, verse number five, it says abandon, but they don't translate correctly. Here, the translation should be the idols or rajas is the idols and the idols stay away from it so this is supposedly what should be the first one but if you go in the book of uh, like uh, the us muslims what is the first one muhammad he received they will say to you the chapter what is called uh, uh read in the name of your lord so which one weird Muhammad, he mentioned in that story that an angel came to him and he squeezed him three times and he said to him, read. But in this story here, in this hadith, we see that the first one Muhammad he received, it was chapter 74. So what happened? What happened is very simple to explain. Muhammad, he reported many stories and they are not consistent. Do we have any Muslim on a call us? Why we have only 600 people here? Listen carefully. If you don't bring 300 more before the end of this hour, I'm going to take the hike and go to Allah heaven, spend the rest of the day with my virgins. The Prophet promised me that every day I will make 100 women lose their virginity. You know, Abdul, I don't know this is how, how, how possible to do that. If you're a prophet, he said that you will have 70 years orgasm. So how your orgasm is 70 years, but yet you are going to, I don't want to use the bad word, to F, I did not use it, right? To F 100 women in one day. How you will, how you can do that if the orgasm each orgasm is 70 years. Hello? 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 It's me you're looking for. But Muslims cannot find me. And they want to debate me. But how they can call me? Hello? Mean. The, the Pakistani guy in Facebook, he told his followers, Christian Prince, I challenge Christian Prince to debate me, but the they send me someone else. They send you someone else? Who send you someone else? Jibreel? He want to show the Muslim that he is a person he can debate the Christians. You know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So you will notice right away, when the Muslims they speak about something, it is always very funny and very crazy, and they have no idea what they are talking about. We continue. Let us see. Hmm. You will notice here Muhammad saying the following: I stayed in the month of Hera, in the sorry, in the in the cave of Hera. Hera is a cave, supposedly. For one month, for one month, Muhammad, he stay in the cave for one month. What does that mean? He decided to leave the whole world. He became a monk. And when my stay was completed, I came down and I went to the heart of the valley. Somebody called me loud. I looked in front of me, behind me, on the right of my side, on my left. Like what? Who? Who? Huh? Where? Who? Where? Where? 
You see, look, 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 look. Read with me carefully, Abdul. When I arrived, I came down, I went to the heart of the valley. Somebody called me loud. I looked in front of me, behind me, on the right of my side, on the left, on my left, but I did not see anybody. I was again cold and I looked about, but I saw nothing. I was called again. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many called now? How many guys? How many times already? How many times Muhammad have, have been called? Just to show you another sign of the madness. Based on this, Muhammad was called how many times? Let us see. Notice with me. When I was coming down from the valley, someone uh, from the cloud called me. Oh, sorry. So someone called me loud. So this is the first time. Okay. I look behind my right in the front and left nobody and then I was called again that is the second time and then I was called again three times why why everything happened to Muhammad three times any Muslim what what is the point of a three time why three times? What about five? What? Uh, why? The three time, and then I raise my head. So you see, Muhammad. Muhammad will not raise his head unless you spank him three time. Speak to him three time. Repeat it three time. You say it once, you, Muhammad. He will not get it. You say it twice, Muhammad. He have no idea. You say it twice, Muhammad. Is it a Tritanian? Uh, huh? I oh, know. I got it. Oh man, tell me. Why the why the angel he said to why why the angel did not call him Muhammad by saying Muhammad three times, which means don't say it three times, just say Muhammad three times. I mean I think that will work. Try it. Try it. In the other hadith, Muhammad he said that the angel he squeezed him three times. But do you see how the story here has changed, guys? Do you see how the story changed? Where is the squeeze in here? People, are, are you listening? If Muhammad is a true prophet, why the story changed? What happened about read and squeeze me and 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 no mayonnaise is coming out? This is a different story. That story, the angel came to him in the cave and he squeezed him three times and he said to him, read. In this story, there's no reading. There's a guy he's saying to him, Oh, Muhammad. And Muhammad, he could not see who is the one who's calling. You know? All right. Obviously. He's a liar. He can't repeat the same story twice. Right? CP what? Hold on. Somebody's saying to me. Read the hadith on this, please, please. What what does that mean? Guys, speak to me. Speak to me in English, please, brother. Anyway. So Muhammad he was called three times and then I was called again and raised my head and the three and there on the throne upon the atmosphere he he hold on hold on did Muhammad just say that he saw someone upon the throne who is the one upon the throne look at this Jibreel what Jibreel is upon the throne? Hmm? So if Jibreel is upon the throne, Allah is where? He went to the bathroom? Allah on vacation?
Allah said to Jibreel, sit in my place until I come back so nobody will take my chair in the movie theater. How Muhammad, he is claiming that the one he saw, it is Jibreel, and he is above the throne. And here we have a problem. The the cave of Hara is just uh, you know very close in Mecca. Actually, it's it's, it's like uh, you know walking distant in in the in the town. Actually, today is like almost is inside the city zone. How somebody is in the throne of heaven, and he appear, but nobody saw him except Muhammad. Who won this hadith that Jibril was in the throne? Do you want it, guys? Do you want it? Here we go. Take it. Save it. Take a note. Then Muhammad, he continues saying, after he saw Jibreel on the atmosphere. Atmosphere? What atmosphere? It says the horizon. Actually, it doesn't even say horizon. It says in the in the in the air. It became atmosphere, hmm. uh, and he was sitting. Jibril was sitting. Hey, Jibril, show some respect, man. You are talking to Muhammad. How dare you just sit? How dare you? Allah created the whole universe for the sake of Muhammad, and you are talking to him sitting in a your in your couch. No respect these days. For a prophet of God, he is the best of mankind. I began to tremble. <laughs> On account of fear. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, why the angel called him and what he called you, what he said, what, what, what happened? He called you, what he said. What do you mean he called me? There is something stupid in the story. If an angel who is look like he's God because he's sitting in the throne, he said something to me. Shouldn't I report what he said to me? No, he called me. He just called me. And then I start, you know, trembling. Okay, how we tremble? How what what happened? From what? From fear. In fear. I came to Khadija and I said, warm me up. Do you remember the brother who called us and he said he, he, he is suffering from an illness it's called epilepsy? Do you remember the brother who called me just a few days ago? And I and I told him actually I, I really prayed for him. May the Lord, you know, took in your hand and make you stronger. And he is you can tell he's a smart. You know, look, he called first of all, look how brave he is. He called us and he says, I have the same problem as Muhammad. I mean, you have to be really brave to say that. He said, I have the same illness. But you listen to him, the person is really smart. Even though he is suffering from that illness. So the illness here is not a problem. The problem is that you take over your illness to make it as you are a messenger of God, deceiving people when you know I mean, must he must knows that you know that he cannot be a prophet, and this is proven many places that he is his you know he is imagining things. So here you will notice that Muhammad he is a trembling in fear, and he went to Khadija and he said, "Warm me up," which means he feels so cold. They warmed me up, and they throw water on me, and Allah the exact the gracious. Or the glorious send down this. He sent down what? He sent down this verse. You who are shrouded, arise and deliver warning. Your Lord magnify and your clothes cleanse. 
by the way I don't say thank you for those who they are making donation because you are not waiting for my thanks right and the same time we concentrate on the topic but for sure we are grateful for those who help us in our mission so here the story is very clear that Muhammad he hear voices and nobody hear the voices except him nobody see the angel except him Muhammad he says stupid things and nobody say those stupid things except him Muhammad accused to be crazy and again this is not the only reason to believe is a crazy but as you say there's many things Muhammad wearing his wife clothes Muhammad claimed that he never received Quran except in his wife clothes all of those things bring us to one place that Muhammad he have a mental illness and for sure there's tons of more reasons to believe Muhammad is suffering from mental illness I will show you one let me show let me look for this hadith where you will see a clear sign of defect oh here we go this is the book of Sahih Muslim. The merits of the companions. All right. Aisha, the wife of Allah, apostle, may Allah pray on him and salute him, and Uthman both reported that Abu Bakr thought permission from Allah Messenger for entrance. To his apartment at that time they have apartment i mean look at the funny translation i mean look at this funny translation at that time they have an apartment yeah mm -hmm. it was a studio apartment brother mm -hmm. as he had been laying on his bed and look at the first translation here covered with the bed sheet of aisha he was wearing the, his wife aisha clothes he gave a permission to abu Bakr. In that very state he having his need fulfilled which means Abu Bakr he get him and he asked for something and then he left then Omar asked for a permission to get in it was given to him in the same very state which means Muhammad is in the in the in the uh, uh, in the bed in, in that position now that position by the way uh, as you see here labison Martu Mirtu Aisha and we showed you already what Mirt mean Mirt you know remember we showed you the tafsir tafsir says clearly that Mirt is something only women wear وقال ابن الأثير لا يكون المرت إلا درعا وهو من من خز أخضر ولا يسمى المرت إلا الأخضر ولا يلبسه إلى النساء so this is a, a piece of a clothing which is women wear and it's green it have to be green that's why they call it mort and only women they wear it you see this is the reference this is proof they cannot say to us we are making things up this is sharh al-zarqai ala al imam malik as you see and this is which page let us see okay page number 81 as you see here page number 81 so obviously muhammad is wearing his wife clothes and Abu Bakr came and Omar came and he did not change the way he is sitting and the way he is dressing all right then you will see here Uthman came Uthman came then I, I sought permission from him and he got up and dried to Aisha and he said to her warp yourself well with your clothes then i got my need fulfilled hmm? and came back so look what happened here muhammad he have no problem with abu umar with umar coming in and he is in that position wearing those clothes and aisha she is you see the story here by the way uh muhammad and aisha they are together laying in the bed And they are in a certain position which is like you know normally you do only when you are like 
with some you know family I mean you don't care I'm not saying they are having sex no but like you don't you do not you don't it's not embarrassing to sit in the front of somebody if he is a family member you know what I mean but look what happened Abu Bakr came Muhammad did not change Omar came Muhammad did not change Uthman came he right away he asked his wife to cover herself which means his wife she is uncovering herself she is exposing her body not only him Aisha herself she is exposed now Abu Bakr is the father of Aisha says no problem this is his daughter but Omar is a stranger when Uthman he came suddenly uh, Muhammad before Uthman entered he said war 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 yourself war yourself cover yourself cover yourself hmm? and he himself he changed his clothing and look what he said Omar he came and he asked for permission he got in and he left uh, sorry Uthman and then Aisha she said Allah messenger why is it that I did not see you feeling any uh, 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 you know like uh, uh, shame or embarrassing in the case of addressing properly in the presence of Abu Bakr and the presence of Omar as you showed in the case of Uthman thereupon Allah Messenger said verily Uthman is a person who is a very modest and I was afraid that if I permitted him to enter in this very state, he would not inform me of his needs. What does that mean? That means Muhammad was naked. What do you mean modest? Muhammad and Aisha, both they were naked. Because remember, Muhammad, he said to Aisha, warp yourself up. Warp, you see it? Warp yourself up with your clothes. So Aisha, her body was exposed, and Muhammad's body was exposed. And Abu Bakr came, Muhammad don't care, Omar care, he don't care, Uthman he come, and then suddenly Muhammad he is asking his wife to cover herself. Actually. The translation you see in the front of you is not really uh, is not accurate. In different hadith, it says that uh, 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 Uthman is a person. Angels are shy from him. Let me show you the hadith. Let me find it. Yeah. This is the same story. <clears throat> And here the story is more telling more details, which is very shameful. Read with me carefully. <coughs> Allah Messenger was laying in the bed, not in my apartment, in my house. All right. And his tithe was uncovered. His tithe was uncovered. So Muhammad is exposing his legs. This is this is the Muslim story, not my story. This is the Muslim, uh, you know, translation, not my translation, as you see. So his thigh was uncovered, and Abu Bakr uh, 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 sought permission to enter. It was given to him. So he came, and Muhammad did not in the in the same very state. Muhammad did not even move. His legs is open. His legs is showing and we don't know even what is else not you know which mean uh, at that time by the way there's no panty there's no underwear women don't wear panty and men don't wear underwear there's nothing it's called underwear which mean obviously his whatever is showing because he left up his address the prophet thigh or shunk and covered this is between two brackets it's not exist there then Omar th thought the permission for entering and it was given to him and the same happened he came he asked for what he need and then he left then Uthman thought permission to enter to Allah messenger and then he sat down and he said right his clothing one of the narrator said I did not say that 
it happened in the same day he did not say that happened in the same day he did not say that he Uthman then entered and you know asked for what he want Aisha she said to Abu Bakr Abu Bakr sorry Aisha she said to Muhammad Abu Bakr which means her father entered and you did not stir and you did not observe much care of arranging your clothes then Omar entered and you did not care or arrange your clothes but when Uthman enter you get up and set your clothes right so he said shouldn't I show modesty to the one whom even the angels show modesty the angels the angels they are shy from Uthman So Osman must be at the Prophet. You see, Muhammad is not shy to show his legs to Omar, to Abu Bakr, which means Muhammad is not wearing the proper clothes. But Uthman, even the angels are shy from him because he is extreme a proper person. He is a lot better than Muhammad himself. How that can be true? Here you you find obviously there's a mental illness. You see, if you are sitting, showing your legs, showing your testicles, and then men after men come, and all your Uthman is the one you need to proper. You have to wear your clothes in a proper way. What kind of a man you are? Because at the end of the day, uh, Abu Bakr is a man. And Omar is a man and Uthman is a man and if you are not wearing your clothes in a proper way that's a shame I mean why you want to do that unless this is an open society you know like hippies you can go even naked here you will see that Muhammad again he have a mental issues of making decision about who and how and where he can be wearing a proper clothes We continue. Who won the hadith? Who won the hadith? Who is Abdu? And Abdu won the hadith. Here we go. Because they might say to you, "This is weak." By the way, this is not weak. This is strong, very strong, very strong hadith, brother. All right. Now, uh. One of the things sick people they have that he think he is the greatest. And because he think he is the greatest, he think that the people who follow him, they are superior of everybody. In a violent way. Look at this. <clears throat> Abu Huraira here is reporting supposedly what he heard from his prophet because Abu Huraira have no authority except to report what Muhammad said you are the best of people Quran this is Quran now chapter 3 verse 110 Muhammad he told the people who they follow him only the people who follow him you are the best people ever raised up for mankind and here the Muslim they say to you between two bracket the benefit of mankind focus with me with the benefit when you see this world between two bracket you say wow I mean this is good this is positive anyway they think they are the best but for the benefit I and mean, look let, let them do their benefit and then he explained to us what is the benefit for mankind he says the best of ma for mankind are those who are who bring them with the chain around their necks till they embrace Islam so Muhammad, because of his madness, he believed that the best he can do to mankind is to go and capture you and enslave you and bring you like a dog or a mule or a donkey or a cow and put a chain around your neck 
and that is the benefit Muslims they can do to mankind and this is what we see around us if you don't believe me go and read the news today how many people get killed today just today in the last four, 24 hours in the name of Allah how many You are the best of mankind. And not only that, you know, you remember the verse where Muhammad Hijab, he said that the uh, Allah, he pray for Muhammad. Allah, don't pray on Muhammad. Muhammad here, he put himself the center of the universe. Allah, Jibreel, the angels, the believers are what? Praying on Muhammad. The Muslim they try to fabricate and say this is a blessing. Let us say it's a blessing for the sake of argument. Still, Muhammad became the center of the universe. He is mentally ill. Allah, the angels, Jibreel, and the believers, which means nobody left. Everybody praying on Muhammad. Why? Allah, he has nothing to do except Muhammad, obviously. Muhammad is the center of the world. He is everything. Even Muhammad, he told his followers. Let me show you some reference. see I'm trying to find you see always I like to find Muslim website not anything else let us see Okay. Mm. I'm trying to find it. I'm having difficulty. I want to find it in English for you, not in Arabic. Yeah, I wish all of you speak Arabic. That will make it easier for me. Okay, I found something in English, but it's not the one really I want, but let's use it, what we can do. The Hadith says, read with me carefully here. 
They include ahkam, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, okay. When, Adam has, when, when Adam sinned, when Adam, he did sin, he said, Oh Allah, I ask for your forgiveness for the sake of Muhammad. This is Adam, the first man he is talking about, Muhammad. The first man talking about Muhammad. How Muhammad he, you know, how Muhammad is known by Adam? Look what Muhammad he claimed. If we go to the hadith, we will find Muhammad saying the following. Let us see. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Somebody asked Muhammad. This is a Tirmidhi. This is Sahih. This is Sahih. They can't say it's weak. You see, it's Sahih. Look, Muhammad. He said. Somebody said to him, Messenger of Allah, when was the prophethood established for you? He said, while Adam was between being a soul and the body. Do you see it? Do you see it? Muhammad became a prophet before even Adam is finished. How that can happen unless he is a crazy person? How Muhammad he came to such a conclusion that the first thing God he made is Muhammad prophethood. He is not even done with Adam, which means Adam is not really the purpose. The, the purpose is Muhammad. Do you see it? And then now we have zero call, by the way, from Muslim Abdul. Nobody, you know, Abdul is going to call us. I don't know why. They are in strike. Where is the Abdul? Where is the Abdul? Why today Abdul are in... Hello. Where is the ones who debate me? You want to prove me wrong? You know what's what happened? Aren't you? Don't you? This is this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. You see, Jesus, he said before Abraham, I am, because the Christian believe that Jesus is God. But you're a prophet saying before Adam, I am. Don't you see it? Muhammad here he claimed that he is he is the reason for the whole universe to, to be exist. He is everything. <clears throat> Do we need more proof to prove that Muhammad is a crazy man? By the way, I can give you proofs from now until next century. Muhammad, he don't give a proofs. Muhammad, he give, he do, he give poopoo. Everything he say is a poopoo. Let me show you how Muhammad, he claim the madness of Muhammad. Muhammad in the grave, but yet he is alive. And Allah and the angels will bring the prayer of the Muslims to him so he can review it. You believe it? Let me find a hadith. Oh. <laughs> Look at this.
I mean, this hadith is all over. I don't know which one I will show you, but all of them are the same garbage. Let us see this one. And again, this is Sahih. So the Muslim cannot say, Taif. The Prophet said, Among the most excellent of your days is a Friday. So invoke many blessings on me. This is the Muslim translation, by the way. Okay? Invoke many blessings on me. But the fact in Arabic it says, فَأَكْثِرُوا مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ عَلَيَّ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ Salat. You see the word Salat? It's not a prayer. It's not. It's not prayer. It's not. It's not a blessing. But here, and it's not a blessing. It's not a prayer in the translation. Okay. But hold on. So, in Friday, do a lot more prayer on me. Let us go with the word blessing. Let us say it's a blessing. Invoke many blessing on me on that day. Okay. Hold on. What what is that will do to you? I mean, are you blessed already or you are not? Are you prophet of God? Here we go. When Allah He was made in Adam, He did not even finish Adam, He He set you as a prophethood. You are hired as a prophet, even Adam is not created yet. And then he said, For your prayer, not a blessing, will be submitted to me. You see, if Muhammad is a prophet. And the Muslim here is asking God for a blessing as the translation trying to make it not a prayer Why that prayer which is because when you ask God for a blessing, this is a prayer, correct? Just to go with the with the Muslim false translation. Let us say for the sake of argument. I am asking God to bless Muhammad still. This is a prayer <laughs> Because no man can can bless anyone you when we say I bless you I say my God bless you so this is still a prayer. So if they are asking Allah to bless Muhammad, then why the prayer of the Muslims is going to Muhammad, not to Allah? Look what the companion they said to him. They said, how can our prayer, not blessing, be submitted to you when your body has been decayed, has decayed? Which means you are dead. They are talking about him dead now. Well, they are not talking about him when he's alive. Muhammad is speaking about the future when he die. You have to invoke prayer on me every Friday. A lot of it. They said the prophet, but you will be dead. How our prayer will be submitted to you? Look what he said. He said, Allah has forbidden it, the earth, from consuming the bodies of the prophets. Muhammad he claimed that he is always alive he never died because if it is about consuming the body of the prophet will not be consumed are you going to be alive obviously yes because they are going to provide him with the prayer every day the Muslims from around the world they pray to Muhammad the angels they bring the, the all the prayer to Muhammad why to Muhammad not to God unless he is mentally ill and he is sick Do we have any Muslim? Where is the Muslim today? What happened? And then, and then, Muhammad, when he died, the Muslim did not bury him for three days. Do you remember? When Muhammad, he died, because of this, the Muslim did not bury him for three days. And what happened to Muhammad? Because they believed him. He told them that my body will not be consumed, will not be decayed, and will not be destroyed. What happened? Muhammad Billy started farting. Muhammad became, if we go right now,
until his belly became fat and big. Read with me, Abdul. In the Rasulullah, Salam, Allah pray on him and salute him, then Mamad, Lam Yudfan, when he died, he was not buried. Hatta Rabba Batnuhu, when a thanat khunsurah, until his belly became so big, which means Rabba, like you grow up, you know, like became like a pregnant woman. And this is gas. And by the way, the dead man or dead women, if you don't bury them after a while, the, the body will start producing gas, a lot of gas. I mean, really, literally scary. Actually, there's a movie you can uh, like to just just to understand. There's a guy who uh, uh, he was isolated in an island, and then he found a dead body. And because he like he's losing his mind, so he was sitting the dead man in front of him just to talk to him. And then the dead man start farting, you know, like start moving, farting. You know, gas is coming like crazy, and that's this is exactly what we are talking about. So Muhammad, his belly became so big. And the guys start coming out, and his it says when thanat khunsura, which means his you know his uh, little fingers you know they be, they shrink you know when the dead man he shrink like you know they shrink they can they they collapse. Uh, and they say, and here it says, in al Madina ardun al har, the city of al Madina is very hot, and the prophet he passed away in the day of Monday. And he was left until the evening of Wednesday. So the Muslim they believe Muhammad that he is saying the truth when he said that the Prophet body will not be destroyed, and your prayer will be even sub, you know submitted to me. They believe them, but then here they notice that Muhammad is a scam. His belly is full of gas. And his fingers is shrinking. In different hadith, actually, let me see if I can find that hadith. Give me a second. This is why, by the way, like you know, when you read my books, my books is a treasure of information which you cannot find by yourself. Uh, and this is the purpose of my book or books. Let us see. But anyway, this is this is enough. Like you know, we can show more reference, but this, this is more than enough for us to prove what we are talking about. Now, do we have any Muslim? He have any objection? Any Muslim, he don't like, he don't agree, he think we did not cover the story in the right way. Anyone? May they, may they. We continue then. So when Adam commits sin, and he was our first man, he asked Allah for forgiveness and he said forgive me for the sake of Muhammad Allah like he said to him he said like what the heck Allah asked him how do you know look hold on hold on hold on hold on how you know Muhammad peace upon him even Allah he says peace upon him even Allah he cannot say the name of Muhammad without saying peace upon him do you know this even Allah himself he don't dare to say the name of Muhammad without it without adding titles look Allah said to him how do you know Muhammad peace upon him when I have not create yet created him Adam said oh Allah after you created me and breathe into me and your soul reach in my head and so he saw he saw what he saw in the chair of Allah Allah he wrote right away when before he created anything it says there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger of Allah Written on the throne. <laughs> Before Allah created anything, 
Allah is writing his name and the name of Muhammad in the throne. Remember, remember, brother, brother, we Muslims don't worship Prophet Muhammad, brother, but obviously Allah, he worship him. The first thing he do or he does before he did anything is writing the name of Muhammad to the point when Adam, he did commit sin, he rose his, his head up to ask for forgiveness. Actually, before he raised, you know, like ask for forgiveness, when he created him and Allah, he breathed into him, Adam, he looked up and he saw it says in Arabic, and obviously Adam is an Arab, based on this story, which is very funny. It says, Shahada, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his rabbit. It says there, his, in, 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 Muhammad is his rabbit. <laughs> and then I came to know that not by any one name next to yours except the name of the one who is dearest to you among creation that's it allah said now where, where are the muslims getting this this is from muhammad allah said oh adam you have spoken the truth Ta -da -da -ta -da 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 -da. Ta -ta 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 and now Adam he, he must feel like mm, I feel good so good so good da -da 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 -da. Muhammad he got it right there's no way God he will put any name next to his name except the name of the one who is the most important and the Muslim they say that you Christians are mushrikeen the fact they are mushrikeen as you see your God Allah himself he associate his name with the name of a man he created and he is no one the one who created the universe, he is writing the name of Muhammad in his throne. Why? What does that mean? Muhammad, he given the throne of Allah to? Allah have an Allah have an obsession with Muhammad. Allah in love with Muhammad. Allah he loved one thing in the world, Muhammad. The first thing Allah in the morning, before he drink his coffee, he say, Muhammad. When he want to do anything, he say, Muhammad. He look at the earth, he see nothing but Muhammad. He look at the sky, he see nothing but Muhammad. He look at the cloud, Muhammad. He look at the galaxies, Muhammad. Whatever Allah, he turn his face, Muhammad. I mean, obviously, Muhammad is everything. And obviously, Muhammad is not a crazy to the point he's saying that the whole universe is busy with him. And then you speak in the truth, you spoke in the truth. Indeed, Muhammad is the dear, dearest to me from among all creation. Supplicate to me through his sake, for indeed I have forgiven you. Eesh. Just because you ask for the sake of Muhammad, you are forgiven. Okay, hey Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. Allah, now he cannot resist. Allah is in trouble now. Christian Prince, after all what he did. To Allah and to Muhammad spanking them every day now Allah is in a problem he cannot he just asked me for the sake of Muhammad that's it this is a this is a weakness a spot of Allah like you hit me in my uh, you know you see the weakness a spot of Allah Allah have a weakness you say to him in for the sake of Muhammad Allah like he melt in the same second Allah he do not know what to say I was going to punish you I was going to torture you I was going to send you to hell but because you say for the sake of Muhammad, brother, ta -ta 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 -ta, you are forgiven. Uh. This is a prophet and this is a religion. And look what he says. He continue. If not, Allah continues saying, if it were, if, if it were not for Muhammad, I would not have created you. If, 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 I mean, this is really something. If, if not, brother, if not, brother, for Muhammad, brother, Allah will not create Adam, which means me and you, Abraham, Moses, 
all the prophet george bush brother obama the emperor of japan yama sasuke yama the chinese ching he bruce lee was not created oh, unless there is muhammad I mean, I'm really shocked. That's um, that's amazing. That's so beautiful. Everything, everything around us is made because of Muhammad. The TV, the TV I have in my room here is made because of Muhammad. Because if not Muhammad, Allah did not create the Japanese. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Sasuke. Sasuke. If not Allah, he love Muhammad, we will not have curry from India because Allah will not create the Indian brother. So we will not get all the beautiful spices and Indian food, brother. See how beautiful the Prophet Muhammad. Do you see the do you see the benefit of the Prophet Muhammad over mankind, brother? All of India created the brother because of Prophet Muhammad. If not the Prophet Muhammad, brother, people of Indonesia are not created. He do not need them, brother. There's no need for them. But because of a Prophet Muhammad, we have Indonesia now. Brother, the blondie women, brother, the blondie women, those who do the thirteenth, thirteenth, brother, do you, brother, in those the thirteenth of uh, the thirteenth? If not Allah, be loving Muhammad, brother. All those women are not created. You are not happy with uh, Bruce Lee. Uh, okay, you are not happy what I can do. Complain to Allah. <laughs> he is, he is an, as an Asian, he is not happy with the Bruce Lee. Uh, why, why you are not happy? I speak Chinese perfectly, my friend. Let me, let me, let me give you a Quranic verse in Chinese. That's mean, if not Prophet Muhammad, Allah created not you, brother. Hey, that's it. Translation. Do we have any Abdul? What is that? Do you need more proof of madness? Literally, do you want more proof of madness? The story of the madness of Muhammad did not stop here. Go down a little bit with me. You want to call me? All right, call me. Oh, hold on. We have Yusuf. We have Yusuf. Don't call me, you, my friend. Let us call Yusuf. <coughs> answer, Yusuf. Answer. What happened to Yusuf? Okay, forget. <sighs> what kind of religion this religion is? Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh Christian Prince, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I've been watching your videos for a while. All right. And uh, I'm a Christian. I'm an Arab, and uh, I was born in a Christian family. Uh, I'm an Orthodox Christian, and uh, I've I've recently I've been uh, really into Christianity a lot. And uh, I've been into revealing the uh, truth of Islam to my Islam uh, to my Muslim friend. All right. So um, what I've been trying to do is. Talk to them and ease my way in, but it, it hasn't been working out very well, uh, except for this one question that I asked, and it, they didn't. Not a single one of them knew how to answer it. Who, who does Allah pray to? Who is Allah what? And who does Allah pray to? Oh not yeah. A single, okay. Yeah, not a single one of them knew how to answer. 
And that amazed me. They don't know who Allah prays to, and they're still Muslims. Mm. They don't know who Allah is. Well, the they're first question you should ask them, who is Allah? Because you see, the Muslims, any question for them is a problem. Because who is Allah? They don't know. They don't yeah, know. they just told me that uh, they it's the man they worship. I told them, I know. Who is he? Yeah. Well, yeah, as you see, all the questions we ask, Muslims cannot answer anyway. So, my friend, listen, listen, and collect questions and you know, reference, and uh, uh, you know, arm yourself with knowledge so you can uh, you can do better. Because the more you know about this cult, the better you can defeat it. All right. Thank you very much, Kibab. The good work. Thank you, my Jesus friend. Bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. Same to you, my brother. Take care. He said to me in Arabic, "Al Masih Yahmik," which means the Messiah protected you or protecting you let us see Yusuf it looked like Yusuf he tried to call me but did not go through we will call him back <coughs> yes Yusuf how are you I'm all right so what do you want to say to us Yusuf I want to say that you are always Using the fabricated hadith. This hadith is fabricated by Al Hakim. This is fabricated hadith, right? This, this is fabricated yes, hadith. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. My friend, my friend, my friend. This, guys, this hadith, this hadith is fabricated. What about this one? What about this one? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What uh, Muhammad he claimed? This is Christian. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When your prophet he said, that when your prophet read for me, read for me and translate. When your prophet he said, oh, are you going to talk and I talk at the same time? Listen, let me just talk. When your prophet said, when he is in the grave, Allah will send. When Allah will send the prayer of the Muslims to Muhammad, why Allah will send the prayer of the Muslims to Muhammad when he is in the grave? Explain to us. Here we go. The hate in front of you. What you say? Allah will send the prayer of all the Muslims, which invoked by Muslims, to Muhammad when he is in the grave. Why? Yes, what is the problem? What is the problem? Is Muhammad is dead or alive? Muhammad, the body is, uh, his body is dead, but is alive in a okay. by the middle of all right, guys, his his body is dead. Did you, did, you, did you hear that? Okay, when you say his body is dead, does it mean his body is going to be disposed? What? His body will become dust in the grave? He is spiritually alive. Yeah, he but is, his body, this his, is his body, what? What, what? what will happen to his body? What will happen to his body? We don't know. What do you mean you do not know? Give me, give me an answer. When, when a human being is Muhammad, different kind of a human being, or his body will de, will will be decayed like the same as everybody. It's not uh, it's not like everybody because he is a prophet. Okay, so because he's a prophet, his body will stay there, right? Yes. Okay. So yes. how so how the hadith says that Muhammad, when he die, uh, he start farting, and Muhammad. Uh, uh, his uh, his skin became a green, and he became uh, nothing. He became uh, uh, you know uh, uh, stinky. Where is the hadith? Okay. Let us see the hadith. <clears throat> oh, let us see here. I go here. Okay.
All right. This is the book. نهاية الأرب في فنون الأدب. المؤلف النويري. Is it authentic or not? It is authentic. It must be authentic. What do you think? It's going to be not? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. When you Muslim keep saying to us that this hadith is a lie, I mean, why, why you Muslims, you, when you, why you Muslim keep keep saying that you Muslims you lie about your prophet? Why you do that? Why you lie about your prophet? Uh, now, no, let, my let, let us read. Let us, let us read. Let us read together what it's the hadith. It's 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 hold on, hold on. Let us read what the what the hadith is saying. Hold on. Let me give, if, give me a if, hold if on. If you Muslim lie, I will say the opposite. This is this is our read with me, read with me, read with me, read with me. It says when Muhammad he died, when Muhammad he died, before, before we discuss it, let me answer. You ask me, where is the hadith? I'm reading for you. Stop talking. Not a hadith. Okay, okay, okay. Then go, then go. You say you don't want me to read. You ask me, where is the reference? I'm showing you, and now you don't want me to read it. The reference is it because what, what is the point to discuss something fabricated? What is the point? Well, you have to prove it's fabricated, and if you it's fabricated, it's fabricated by Muslims. That will make Islam more ugly. If it's fabricated, it's fabricated by the Muslims, and that make Islam disgusting. Because you are saying to me that you cannot trust Muslim books, you cannot trust Muslims because they are a bunch of liars. This is what you are saying to me, and now. You have no, you have no proof. Hold, hold on, hold on. Do you have, do you have a, do you have a proof that this hadith is fabricated? You know why, why it's fabricated? Let me tell you why it's fabricated. Let me tell you why. Let, let me tell you why it's fabricated for you because this is very embarrassing. No, my friend. Okay, here we go. Okay, is Ibn Abbas? Is, is Ibn Abbas? Listen, is 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 Al Abbas? Is Al Abbas? Is Al Abbas? I will I will make you read it. I will make you read it. I will make you read it yourself, and you will laugh at yourself. Okay, read with me. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, big mouth. Stop. It says here. وقال العباس وقال العباس رضي الله عنه إن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يأس كما يأس البشر وإن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قد مات إلى آخره. My friend, my friend, what, what, in a relation of what? You see how this is weak. The chief, if you want to, to, to narrate a hadith, you have to have the narration. He take it from where, from where to the prophet. You cannot just prophet say, prophet say. Look what they are saying. They are saying that this is a true story. Ibn Abbas, they are saying this is an ikhbar. This is this is a news coming from Al Abbas, but it does it's it is a, it is not confirming what happened. It is just a news of what happened, which is the same. I mean, this is stupid. And here you will see no, no, that it says it says it says. Uh, listen, listen. It says that your prophet he قد أسنا, قد أسنا, and he he is كما he is he 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 stink he stink he stink. So if you are saying to me that those hadith are made by Muslims who they are liars, well, thank you very much. You Muslims are a bunch of liars. Same no, time, no, same time, same time. The let Muslims, me ask you, same, let, same time. Listen, why, listen. why you bury, listen, why you bury Muhammad after three days of his death? Why not? Why not? Why, why you bury him if his body why will, not? Not, if his body will never be consumed, will never be damaged? Read it, leave him out. So let, let the whole world see the miracle, the amazing miracle. If Muhammad body will never be damaged that will be amazing and the whole world will believe in muhammad that he's a messenger of allah leave his body out they bury him after three days because he stink the muslims they believe muhammad in this hadith he's saying the truth they believe that he was saying that the body of the prophet will not be damaged and they will stay in a good condition so they did not bury him but after three days he stink and this is why they buried him otherwise and look here, here you are, you are escaping that two points. First of all, he, he claimed that his body will never be damaged. Number two, he claimed that all the prayer of Muslims will be supplicated to him. Why? He is Allah? Yes, spiritually and not his body. Why your prayer will go to him? Why, why, your prayer, why your prayer will go to Muhammad, not to Allah? Do you know why? Why? What is, what is the problem? You tell me why. I mean, come on, tell me this. Is, if he, if he is he is he God or he how how a man can review a, a, a prayer of one billion Muslim? Do you know why? How he can do that? Don't tell me. How, tell me. You keep asking me. Do you know why? Tell me why. 
and how a man yeah, can review uh, uh, there is one billion Muslim they are praying saying Allahumma salli ala, ala Muhammad etc every every Friday how Muhammad you know can what? read all the prayer can I answer or not go ahead if God tells you tells you to do something do you do it or not so you are saying that Allah he decided to hire Muhammad to review the prayer if Jesus or any God tells you to do this and this do you do you do you tell him why why, why I'm asking you are you saying it? are you saying Allah is the one who made him do that Allah command the Muslims to pray to and no to this is not the question this is not the question okay. this is not the question listen you are seeing Muhammad is saying no this is not the question this is not the question the question is Muhammad is receiving the prayer of the Muslims not Allah are you saying to me that Allah he decided to give the prayer of all the Muslims in the world to Muhammad not to him why 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 did the people pray to, pray to Muhammad why you answer me who is his God why Allah, why the prayer Allah, so what Allah, because Allah clearly command where Allah where Allah no no you see Allah he no you see you are not listening Allah he command you to pray for Muhammad to yes. him okay thank you very much so you pray for Muhammad asking Allah for Muhammad okay wonderful now the prayer is not going to Allah it's, it's going to Muhammad pray, the question no this is not the question the question is why the prayer is not going to Allah instead it's going to Muhammad if Muhammad is just a man and he is now in the grave yes. how the prayer will go to Muhammad Are, are you saying Allah cannot uh, cannot give this this prayer to that people uh, that people give to Muhammad? All your Quran, Allah all cannot, your Quran, all your Quran. Hold on, all your Quran confirm that the prayer of uh, of a believers go to Allah doesn't go to a man, correct? When you Muslim, you only pray. You when Allah you cannot, when you Muslim, don't tell me are you saying are you saying. When you Muslims you pray, your prayer go to who? You go to the pocket of Muhammad or you go to the table of Allah? Allah tell us to, to, to pray and send This is not Muhammad. the question. What's this wrong with you? Oh, Don't make me hang up on you. I'm losing my patience. This is not the question. The question is why the prayer going to Muhammad? I'm not asking you if he asked you to pray to because Muhammad or not. So. Why the prayer will go to Muhammad? Because Where he said so? Where he said so? Where? Where? Show me. Pray for Muhammad. This is what pray for said. Muhammad. So but if you no, say, okay, hold on. Are you saying when the Muslim they pray for Muhammad, they are praying for Muhammad and they are bowing down in front of Muhammad and they are worshiping Muhammad and this is why the prayer of Muhammad, to Muhammad going to Muhammad? My friend, if you are praying to Muhammad, Allah will give you uh, more uh, more more benefits. It's not it is benefit for you and not is benefit for Allah or for prophets. Okay, guys, did you because hear this? Did you hear this? Benefit. Did you hear this? If you pray for Muhammad, Allah will give you more benefit, which means praying to Muhammad is more important than praying to Allah because Muhammad is a true God. Allah is just an assistant for Muhammad. He is more but, important. But, uh, just what you just said. If you pray to Muhammad, Allah will give you more explain. benefit. Which me explain. Uh -huh. Can I can I explain? Like, what not? benefit? Like what benefit? Uh, we will get extra versions. What benefit? Explain to us. When when you pray to God, did you get the the benefits or not? The benefit. My benefit. My also. benefit in Christianity is different from your benefit. Your benefit in Islam, Allah will it, make it, your penis long. Allah will make the vagina women big. It, Allah, it, He will it, give it, you a no, wife. It, 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 I'm not changing the topic. This is about the benefit. It, it, Allah will make your wife in the heaven have one mile about, ass. May Allah ask you. Uh, so now answer me. Why, if you pray to Muhammad, the benefit is more than when you pray to Allah? Why Muhammad is more superior than Allah when you pray to because, Muhammad? Because Allah, it is, because it is Allah who command you. So if you do it, you obey Allah, and you're not obeying prophet. You obey Allah. Because if you don't do it, you are disobeying Allah. Are the, you but this is another question. This is another question. Why? Why I will get more benefit if I pray to Muhammad, not to Allah? Why more benefit? Because Allah says so. Where He says so? Allah he said to you, you. Okay, hold on. He's, uh, why Allah he said even you have to pray why Allah he said okay hold on hold on why even Allah he say pray on Muhammad what is that what is the benefit on that what what that will do it is benefit. okay let me answer mm. Allah command you to pray for Muhammad and mm. Allah command you to to fast and to do many things many works 
But why you need to pray on Muhammad? Is Muhammad saved or he is not saved? Like, are you going by your prayer? Are you going to save Muhammad from going to hell? What is the what is the prayer you, you do you to will Muhammad? Will do? Your sin, if you pray to Muhammad, hmm. Allah will give you more benefits, and you will you will go to to heaven. It okay. is benefit. But this is not the question. This is not the question. Why Allah He needed you to pray on Muhammad? <laughs> what is the benefit for Muhammad? What is that will do to Muhammad? Why you need to pray for Muhammad? It does nothing to do to do to Muhammad. It is it is benefit for you. So if you pray on Muhammad, Allah will increase your benefit. If you pray on Allah, Allah will not increase your benefit. He will increase your benefits in two in in, in two keys. If you pray to Allah, He will increase you. If you pray to Muhammad, which one is Allah better? Which so, one is better? Which which one is better? If we pray on Allah or <laughs> pray on Muhammad? <laughs> Drink camel urine, brother. Same, drink camel urine. Well, hold on, hold. Take a break. Take a break. Take a break. Drink, drink camel urine. Drink camel urine. Take a break. Are you okay? If yeah. you pray to Allah, you mm. will give the benefits. If you pray to Muhammad, you will give benefits from God because God commands you to pray. But, to but you said everybody heard you I saying. Say, you I said you I said will, when I you will, pray I, to Muhammad, you I you get more God. benefit. Everybody heard you. You said you said <laughs> when you pray to Muhammad, you get more benefit. You said that everybody heard you. More no, benefit. I didn't say more. You said more. more. No, everybody I heard you. Benefits. Swear, swear, swear no. by the shin of Allah that you did not say more. Swear. I say I say I swear by the shin of Allah I did not say more. It's recorded. I didn't say more. Yes, you said more. I didn't say more. You said more. Okay, I swear by the pray swear by the shin of Allah. Okay, okay, hold on. Swear by the fig that you did not say. Swear by the fig. Okay, hold the fig in your hand. Swear by the fig that you did not say the word more. I say more for Allah and not for Muhammad. Okay, so you are saying if you pray. To Muhammad, Allah get more Allah. benefit. No, I say if you pray to Allah, you will get more benefit than if you pray to Muhammad. So what the benefit of praying to Muhammad then? Why I want to pray? I will pray. You said the opposite actually. There are benefits. You said the opposite. You said the opposite. You said the opposite. You said if you pray to Muhammad, you get more benefit. And now you switch upside down. You are like Muhammad. Okay. Do you want me to go back in the? Do you want me to go back in the video? Do you want me to? It's recorded. If I see, I can I clarify it. Okay, but you said that. Don't deny it. I can go back. I just can go backward I a little bit, and you will probably heard you saying that if you pray, I, I asked you, I asked you, why you need to pray on Muhammad. You said, you said because a prayer to Muhammad give you more benefit. This is what you said, and now you are saying because now you got busted, you got busted, so you swallow your tongue. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. How Muhammad can review the the, the prayer of one billion Muslim? Muhammad is, is a man, is a human. How he will review okay. the prayer of him, like now he will start reading name Muhammad, Muhammad Abdul, Muhammad, Muhammad, etc. He say invoke a prayer on me, and then next, 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 next. How Muhammad he can do that? Can I answer? Can I answer? Mm -hmm. When Allah commands us to pray to Allah, mm. are you saying it is Allah who will benefit? Allah doesn't need our prayer, it is built for us. The same with Muhammad. When you pray to Muhammad, it's not Muhammad who will benefit. It's us who will benefit. Abdul, Abdul, let me show you. Pray? Let me show you how stupid what you just said. Because it's the prayer, benefit. the prayer is a prayer for Muhammad, not for you. You are praying for Muhammad, not for you. So how you pray for Muhammad and you will? It's not Muhammad will get the benefit. Shut up, shut up. Hold on. The prayer says you pray for Muhammad, not for you. Who pray? Who pray? You, you, who you pray, pray for Muhammad. You pray, you pray for Muhammad. When you pray to God, you pray to who? To God. To are God. No problem. problem. But you are not praying for yourself. You are praying for the sake of Muhammad. You are asking something for Muhammad, not for you. Is that correct? Are you saying if you pray to God, Allah needs your Abdul, prayer? Abdul, Abdul. When you pray to Allah, Allah who wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and the angels are praying on the Prophet. And then Allah continues saying, and all who you believe, pray on the Prophet and salute him. Correct? Did you pray to Jesus or not? I pray to Jesus, yes, but I don't pray. I don't okay. pray. Hold on, hold on. Did, I, Jesus, I pray to Jesus, from, but from I, your, your, your or not? I pray to Jesus, so why not? Did Jesus benefit from your prayer or not? You see, you are being stupid now. The prayer is saying, pray for Muhammad benefit. The Quran says that. Sallu alayhi. Wasallim you, taslima. you are not answer. praying asking God pray shut up shut up you know you are just wasting my time let me let me get you busted in a sec I will call you back guys let me show you how foolish this person is
who is in trouble he do not know what to say if we go in the Quran and the Muslim translation for the verse in the this is the verse that David Wood and the, the kid hijab they argue about it uh, We will find here in Allah wa mulaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi translation so we can love together this is the Muslim translation remember and Allah and his angels give a blessing to the Prophet the funny this guy he's saying to you when you do that it is you who get the benefit but look what the, the, the Muslim says first of all the word here is not a blessing this is a big fat lie the word here is a praying but we will go with the word the blessing just to get them busted Allah and his messenger and his angels they do one thing one action both of them they do one action which means angels and Allah are equal what is that According to translation here, blessing. And as I say, this is not true. But let us go with it. Who is the one who get the blessing? Muhammad. This Abdul, who you know, was speaking to, he was saying, it is you who will get the benefit when you do that. The verse continues saying, oh, who you believe, call for a blessing on him. Who is the one who will get the blessing? Him. And greet him and salute him. So, who is the one getting the benefit of this? It is him. And look what happened here. This is a great example of Muhammad being mentally ill. He made God, angels, human, mankind, everybody have one job to do praying on him. Who is him? Muhammad. Who will get the benefit of the prayer? Muhammad. The whole world is doing one thing, but here we have a problem, stupid problem. If Allah already he blessed Muhammad, if this is here, blessing is correct translation as they claim, which is false. If Allah already gave a blessing to Muhammad, do Muhammad need the blessing of the angels and the blessing of the believers? Absolutely false. Because if I am blessed by God, that's it, I'm blessed. The rest, they will ask God to bless me. Angels cannot bless you. Human cannot bless you. Your mother, your parent cannot bless you. They, they say bless you, but they mean may God bless you. Blessing coming only from God. So if Allah, he decided to bless Muhammad already, what is, the, what is the point of this madness here? Here we see the madness of Muhammad, who tried to make the whole world is obsessed with him. Allah, angels, believers, you have one a duty to do. Pray on me. Salute me. Worship me. This is an act of worship. Muhammad became the only concern for God, angels, and mankind. Human beings have to forget about his problems, about his suffering about his illness about being poor about looking for a job you have to focus on one thing praying on muhammad isn't it clear evidence that muhammad is mentally ill and he think he is god same time when muhammad he named himself muhammad that is a clear sign that muhammad he think he is god because muhammad being the praised one So he was lying to us saying that when you pray to God, who get the benefit? You, it's not God who need the benefit. This is not a true. Here the Quran have different meaning. It is the benefit goes to Muhammad. Allah pray for Muhammad. Angels pray for Muhammad. Believers pray for Muhammad. And this is all translated for, by you as a blessing will be sent to Muhammad. So don't lie to us and say this is a benefit for you. It is for Muhammad.
and again here the word of blessing is a stupid because by saying a blessing and angels give a blessing and believer given blessing that's mean Allah and angels and believers they do the same work they are equal especially when he says Allah and his angels give a blessing the fact in Arabic it says you saloon in Allah and it's not only a temporary act it is a continue he used he speak Arabic can you what what you saloon mean you saloon mean praying non-stop Allah angels everybody praying and Muhammad Muhammad always is the center of everything God have nothing to do except him even when he have a fight with his wives what happened when Muhammad he have a fight with his wives just to show you the madness of this man did he brought Allah to the fight yes he did he did look what happened In chapter 66 Muhammad he have a fight with his wives his wives became two party throwing eggs and rocks and saying uh, you know we don't like you macaroni the prisoner of France it says if you repent to Allah if you repent to Allah but they did something wrong against Muhammad supposedly they are being they giving him hard time but look what happened how Muhammad he put the nose of Allah between him and his wives. He used Allah for anything he wants for his purpose. If you repent to Allah, repent, what happened? Now they commit sin because Muhammad, you cannot go against Muhammad. If you repent to Allah, then your heart have listened. But if you band together against him, which means back up each other, then Allah is his ally. ally. Who, 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 who is the ally of Muhammad? Allah. And Jibreel, oof, 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 oof. Jibreel is involved too. Muhammad, he have a fight with two women. They are five foot tall, and they are his wives. And now, if you take the side against the Prophet, look who is going to back up the Prophet, Allah. Jibreel, and not only that, and every righteous believer. And in addition, because this is not enough. This is not enough, man. Allah, Jibreel, and one one point four billion Muslim is not enough to fight two women. They are five foot tall. This is impossible. They are very strong. In addition, the angels will assist him. If 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 the whole universe is busy with the fight between Muhammad wives throwing their shoes at the Prophet. Who is left? FBI, CIA, KGB, CNN, Fox News, you name it. Everybody in the world is busy. We, 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 the whole universe is going in chaos. Why? Because the wife of Muhammad, they have a strike against him. Two women, they are five foot tall. They are threatening everything Allah established. To the point we need the assistance of all the angels all the believers and Allah and Jibreel by the way did he win <laughs> and you are telling me Muhammad is not mentally ill with such an army you can destroy the universe my friend if Allah is God I mean, who need the rest anyway? If Allah, he backed me and I, he is God. Who need Jibreel? Who need the believers? Who need the angel? What, what this guy is talking about? And by the way, the one who said that sentence is Umar al-Khattab. Umar, he said, exactly the same. And the verse came exactly the same. It is Umar who fabricated this verse. And Muhammad, he liked it. He copied it. He posted it in the Quran. Do we need more proof that Muhammad is mentally ill? It's clear. 
I have a fight with my two wives and then what Allah angels Jibreel believers what is that is about what the heck is this he's using the name of God in vain when we say Muslims when Muslims they try to defend Islam they get Islam busted and look what this guy he was saying that when we pray it was for the benefit of us not for the benefit of Muhammad what a big fat lie send the blessing to him this is your translation which is a lie too and when Muhammad he claimed that the prayer of the Muslims is coming to him he just claimed to be God Among the most excellent days of yours, of your days, is a Friday. So invoke many blessings on me. That's your translation. Muhammad the madman, he have a worry. Here you notice, guys, Muhammad, he have a worry. Do you notice that? Why Muhammad, he need the Muslims to invoke a blessing on him? He is not sure? Obviously he's not. Muhammad, he knew he's guilty. He's asking the old who believe in him to forgive me, Allah, forgive him. This guy is a shish kebab. He's a liar. He's a big fat liar. Otherwise, why I need all those people to pray and ask for my for me to be blessed? What does that mean? And that will confirm additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because if you go in the Quran, you will find the following. Muhammad, he said that Allah told him that he is not sure that he is a prophet. Chapter 9, verse number 94, it says, <clears throat> you see, I found this new website. I like it. Do you like it, guys? It's better than the other one, right? The translation does not have many options of translation, but it does the job. If you are in doubt about what we reveal to you, ask those who read the scriptures before you. Who is talking and to who is talking? Muhammad is God saying to him, if you are in doubt of what we reveal to you, ask those who read the scriptures before you, which means the Christians and the Jews. Hold on. Why Muhammad is God saying to him, if you are in doubt? Is if here is confirming Muhammad in doubt? If the Muslim they will say no Muhammad he don't have a dog that's mean Allah is a stupid because why you are saying if if it's not you know what I mean if I say to you if you feel sick drink this that's mean I am not sure if you feel sick or not and that is possible from a human being perspective but when God he says if you have adopt it's mean Allah himself he do not know if Muhammad have adopt or not guys do you understand what I'm saying with my funny English do you understand what I'm saying to you when God he says if you are that's mean he is not sure if he is that's mean the one who made the Quran he cannot be God. Secondly, if Muhammad not have a doubt, what kind of a question that question is? It's a silly, it's a stupid, because if Allah, he knew he'll have no doubt, why he's saying that to him? Number three, how he said to him, go and ask those who read the scriptures before you, which means the Christian and the Jews. If you are saying to the, to, the, to the followers around you that those people are corrupt, they corrupt the Bible. How the corrupt can be witnesses for something truthful. You know what I mean? If the Christian and the Jews, they are not following the true guidance, how the one is misguided, can he be your guidance? Because you are asking him, Muhammad, Allah asking Muhammad, if you don't believe you are a prophet, go and ask the Christian and the Jews, which means they are will guide you to the right answer. So how the misguided, the corrupt, the kuffar, the infidels, the one who don't believe anymore, who Allah will send them to hell, is going to guide you, Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? 
and this is why I say to Muslims every single verse in the Quran is a disaster the, the difference between us hello call me again I think <laughs> I think it's a Muslim <laughs> call me again my friend <clears throat> I will call you. <coughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Okay, forget. If this is God talking, who is the idiot then? If this is what you call God wisdom, God words, what is the stupidity then? And now Muhammad, he received tons of verses, tons of chapters, and he is preaching Islam, and yet he is not sure he is a prophet? And that will make us go to the very clear proof that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness. In case you do not know, Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide many times. He tried, literally, to throw himself from the top of the high mountain many times. Let us get the reference and see if this is true or not. This is the story in Sahih al-Bukhari and the Muslim cannot say to us this is false. Here how Muhammad he received the Quran blah 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 Jibreel squeezed him three times three times as usual. <clears throat> and then you go down here you will see that Muhammad he have a master his name is Waraq ibn Awfal and I believe strongly this is my personal opinion as a Christian prince that Waraq ibn Awfal is the real father of Muhammad. Waraq ibn Nawfal was translating before Muhammad claimed to be a prophet he was translating the gospel into Arabic as you see and that is the Quran you see it that is the Quran but look what happened when, Muhammad, when Waraq he died the divine inspiration stopped coming to Muhammad and that here will raise a question mark what the divine of God divine inspiration of God have to do with the death of a man like Waraka who's Waraka why God plan will stop because of the death of Waraka simply what Muhammad happened here Waraka he died and Muhammad he don't know what to do until later he come to the idea of getting the book which Waraka he used to have and he got it and then he will see after Waraka he died, Muhammad, he became so sad. As we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. Several times. We need more proof that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness. You see, so a side act has a reason for it. Depression, losing hope, uh, madness. <clears throat> Uh, uh, um, uh, chemical balance in the brain what is the reason for Muhammad to do suicide act what happened what exactly make him even think about it and why a person let us say God he gave me inspiration and then he stopped giving me inspiration why I want to kill myself Give me a reason. That is not an, that is not an excuse. Okay, God gave you inspiration. He gave you. He stopped giving you. God is free. How a believer, how a believer in God, he do such a thing to himself. 
especially Muhammad in different hadith he says that if a man he kill himself he will he will stay in hell fire forever how you say to your followers that the one who commits suicide not suicide bombing by the way because suicide bombing is not suicide to kill yourself it is suicide to kill others so it's different How you say to your followers if you do suicide, act of suicide by killing yourself, not killing the enemy, you go to hell. But you yourself, you do it yourself. Even Muhammad, he said that a person. He, he killed himself by poison. He said that this person will stay in hellfire and he will drink his poison every day. Let me try to find the hadith. If anyone drinks poison, the poison will be in his hand on the day of judgment, and he will drink it in hellfire. He will live in it eternally, which means every day, every day, you are going to drink the poison you drunk when you commit suicide. By the way, there is here. <clears throat> uh, Muhammad, he, uh, he he made a false prophecy. He said that there is a guy. He is going to be in hellfire. He said. This man is from the people of, hell, of hellfire because at that time when when Muhammad he said that the guy he was not a Muslim The man he was not a Muslim. Let me see if I can find the hadith in, in, in English Uh, look like it's going to be hard to find it <coughs> but anyway Muhammad he said this man is from the people of hellfire and then this man he joined Islam and he died fighting for the sake of Allah so the Muslim they said to him did you see this guy he fight today a mighty fight for you which means he did jihad and he died But remember Muhammad he said that this person he is one of the hellfire <laughs> anyway <clears throat> uh, do we have any Muslim here Here, by the way, Muhammad is teaching the Muslims that in the hellfire, you will sit in a chair made from fire. Madness, stupidity, crazy. I mean, there is nothing in this religion is, is, is really real. And when the Muslim they say to us that those hadith are fabricated, that is a clear proof that Islam cannot be a religion from God. Because if Islam is based on the hadith and based on the Quran, based in two resources, and you are saying to me that there's at least one of the resources are messed up. So where is the claim that Islam is a preserved? 
any hadith the Muslim don't like today, they say to you, it is weak. It is rejected. Why Allah, he let that to be happening? I mean, like, here we go. Anyone, he can make a story now, according to them. Oh, this is a hadith made by the Jews. Even the Jews, they made hadith. Israeliyat. It's made in Israel. Made in China. So how we can get into any real reference of something really real in Islam? Yes, Yosef. Why you are lying? Why? What? Why you are lying? About what? Just because, because the, because the, if if uh, you are saying because they are weak headed, so the uh, the uh, the Islam and and that is 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 false. Yeah, because how you, know, how you know how you know how you know where's the where is the right story if you are saying to me and you are not telling me let me answer. Hmm. I thought the you Muslim asked me question. Up, they have the methodology and they have they have the methodology to 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 know what, which hadith is weak, which hadith is authentic. Okay. So okay. It is, you, is the, you can is, is the Muslim scholars are is human? Is the, is hold weak. on. Is the Muslim scholars are human or they are God? They have a methodology, my friend. Okay, not no problem. Uh, is it possible that for those based on that methodology that they they might do wrong and make it they agree it is correct? Is it possible? Or they are no, infallible? They because are, they the methodology is hmm. what? When 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 your scholars they say something, let us say they say that this hadith is sahih. Is it possible that this hadith yes. is not sahih? Yes or no? No, if it is say it's sahih, it's okay. sahih. Okay, so why because each time I show you, so why each time I show you a hadith that says sahih, you say to me it's not sahih? You you never show me something. I hadith. show you tons you of them. I, okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay. Did your prophet wear his wife's clothes in the sahih hadith? Yes or no? You are just lying in this. It is, I, I will expose you on this hadith. Okay. Did this he, hadith, what is what is the word used in Arabic? Mart. 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 Hmm. You, do you know what is Mart? You, do tell, you know what tell is me, mart? I'm listening. Go ahead. This the, in Arabic, this this it is it is it, 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 it is not just for women or for men. It is used for the both. I challenge really? you to show me that not much used to just to to the woman. I challenge okay, you. Okay, 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 guys. He did, he did, he said he challenge challenge you. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Sharh al Zarqawi ala muwatta al Imam Malik. Read with me. You speak Arabic, you have no excuse to say. It doesn't say that. And this is the page number, page number 81. Is my screen showing for you? Yes. Okay. Waqala ibn al Athir. La yakun al Murtu illa daran, wahua min khazin akhdar. ولا يسمى المرط إلا الأخضر ولا يلبسه إلا النساء. Translate if you aren't ashamed. Which is is this a hadith or? Ba 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 ba. You said to me a second ago. Show me any proof that the word murt is a clause for women. This is your interpretation, this and this is Ibn, this is me. Ibn al athir This is, this is shut up. Me. Just go. Just go. Get lost. You see, you, you are a coward. You have you have no dignity. A second ago, you said, show, show me where it says that the word murt. I'm going to expose you. I'm going to expose you. Show me where it says that murt is the women's clothes. And now it's in front of you. And now what he will say? This is hadith. This is this is Ibn al athir do you know who is Ibn al-Athir? It is a cloth only for women. Only. وَلَا يَلْبِسُهُ إِلَّا nisa. I'm showing you the book name, the page number, the scholar name. And this is what agreed upon. وَقَالَ Ibn al-Arabi وَقَالَ etc. Read with me. And here we go. This is the this is the book. Sharh al-Zarqani 
على موطا الامام مالك ابن انس فاريان نمبر 1 يو سي ات دازنت ماتر وات يو شو ديم دي ويل بلاي ذا جيم ذات ذس از ويك ات دازنت ماتر دي ار لايك 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 رابيتس و دي ار جامبينج فروم بلايس تو بلايس اند ذا انتر يو هولد ذيم فروم ذير ايرز When you say to me, show me, I challenge you. The word murt does not mean a clothing. If we go to the hadith, we will find that the word murt means a clothing. Here we go. Read with me carefully. And this is sahih. Sahih. And you are the one who said to me that Sahih cannot be weak. A second ago, I said to you, how come each time I say to you Sahih, you say to me weak? Now what you will say, you will say this Sahih? No, you will say it's weak. Because simply getting your prophet busted wearing his wife clothes. Read with me carefully, and this is your translation. Sa'ad ibn uh, uh, etc. reported that Uthman and Aisha told him that Abu Bakr asked permission to come to the Masjid of Allah. May Allah bless him and grant him peace while he was laying off Aisha bed wearing Aisha wearing shirt. This is your translation. This is your translation. And it's Sahih. Let's call him. <coughs> yes, Yusuf, you see the hadith? You see the hadith? It says that your prophet wearing Aisha clothes. And this is Sahih. What you will do now? Show me the Arabic one. I showed you. Here we go. Here we go. What you will do now? Oh, more of this screen. I didn't see it. Hmm. Do you feel like calling a friend? What? You answer me. What do you mean? Go, go. Do you want to call a friend? This is Sahih. This is this is this is. This is the, the, he, he is wearing it. He is wearing it. He is wearing it. And I showed you what the word murt. And I showed you yeah, even the Islamic translation. Yeah, it can use it for man and woman. Why are lying? What what? It is for women and men. It is, it, it, it is for it's, the both. It's for men and women? For men and women? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, read with me. Read with me. Here we go. Read with me. Do you see it? I can. This is an opinion. It's not authentic. It's an opinion. It's an opinion. It's an opinion. Okay. Hold on. In the translation here, why the Muslim translate that this is, he is wearing women his wife's shirt does it say that this is your Islamic translation this is your Islamic website in English why they are saying that he is wearing Aisha clothes because this clothes Aisha uh, wear it and the prophet wear it because it's not just for but women. this is Aisha clothes why ah not? okay okay go 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 get lost get lost see guys mm -hmm. it's not uh, it's not women clothes Aisha clothes is not women clothes Aisha was a man obviously Aisha clothes is a man clothes. Aisha, she dressed like a man, my friend. <laughs> you see how they lie? I mean, they want to escape from anywhere they want. I showed it to him. It says this is only for women. And he says, this is his opinion. Aren't you the one who said to me, show me where it says this is only for women? Don't call me, don't call me. Don't call me, I'm done with you. You're a potato. You're a potato and you're a coward. It says in the front of us. You see, guys, how much I know Islam. Arabic is my first language. 
I show them reference and evidence in front of their eyes and still they go in denial this is why I say to you always we don't debate Muslims because Muslim they will never debate Muslims they are liars you get them busted this is the maximum you can do there's no debate and then the Muslims who they are decent they watch those debates and they will notice and inside their heart they knew that this guy is now trying to defend but it's useless there's many Muslims thousands and thousands of Muslims will watch this and they will see how it is a stupid what he's saying and how they try to run away from what is showing in the front of their face you see one of the reasons I don't like those uh, you know speaking corner like, like a speaker corner I mean it's people are shouting and nobody's showing anything I mean like you, you say whatever you want here we have it in the front of us and you notice I show it to you I look for the hadith in a, in a moment which is very hard by the way to find unless you know exactly what are you talking about I find reference that you challenge me I show it to you right away the Muslim cannot do the same they have no idea what Islam is about they are just big mouth and this guy he is going to defend Islam this, no matter what you say no matter what you prove no matter what you show him Muhammad trying to commit suicide Muhammad he hear voices when he go to the bathroom even Muhammad he said that rocks they said to him assalamu alaikum have you ever heard of a prophet rocks say to him assalamu alaikum <laughs> rocks are you sure rocks you walk in the street, Muhammad, you hear Rock saying to you, Assalamu Alaikum. And you are telling me your prophet is not mentally ill. Or what about Muhammad is sucking the tongue of Fatima? Is that a normal thing for a person who is not mentally ill? Maybe we should continue with this topic in the coming broadcast tomorrow, maybe. We have too much information in one day. Guys, do you have a headache? Did you enjoy today? Did we have a good time? This is our free school. And nobody will teach you what you learn here. All right. There is, you know, there is one thing the Muslims cannot play with. That when the truth shine, nobody can cover it. You can lie as much as you wish. The more lie you create, the more things will get be ugly for you. Nobody can defend anything by lying, maybe temporarily. Like when uh, this guy, uh, uh, the kid, teenage youth, uh, uh, hijab, he was making fun and mockery. He thought he's making mockery of David Wood, but the fact he was making mockery of his prophet. He was making mockery of those who believe that Allah have hands and Allah have leg and Allah have foot and Allah, Allah have shin. But this is the Quran and this is the prophet. You see, Muslims, they have a low IQ and now they spend thousands of videos just to explain why hijab he said Allah he pray on oh sorry he pray for not to which is supposed to is different <laughs> and this guy he he called us he agreed that Allah is asking the Muslim to pray on Muhammad and but he in the same verse it says Allah he pray on Muhammad too it's a stupid religion. Many of you 
love really what I do because of Muslims not because of me yes Yusuf why you are calling me again what happened I, ch I challenge you go mm. to Arabic the Arabic dictionary Al mm. and search for you is there a difference between Salah and Salah or not mm. there's different Salah different go to Arabic? Uh, Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen. You know, do you, do you know? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me hold on, hold on. Let me show everybody. Let me show you to everybody that I will give you today a cert additional certified donkey. I want you to tell me what the words Salah Ala mean. In, in, the, in the dictionary, he says. No, no, tell me, tell me, you, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me what you, you, what you think, you, what you think. Tell me the correct answer. Doesn't matter who. Dictionary, you, Allah, doesn't matter. Tell me what. Sallu alayhi or Allah he pray on him. What does that mean? Blessing and dua. Okay, let us go with you, and everybody will be laughing at you in a second. Guys, he said it is a blessing and supplication. A blessing and, and dua. Dua mean you supply you supplicate to Allah. If Allah is doing supplication, he supplicate to who? If Allah he supplicate to his, 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 his what Allah he supplicate to who you said it is it is you said uh, uh, it's a, you said I said to you what uh, pray on him mean you said blessing said, and dua dua listen. means supplication of a listen. prayer okay Allah supplicate his prayer to who in this verse it means blessing okay in this verse his blessing okay I will go with you read with me carefully if Allah he sent his blessing who need the blessing of the angels The prophet why he needed if Allah already blessed him if Allah already blessed Muhammad the angels what they can do the angels will ask Allah for a blessing correct because Allah come come on him come on my, my friend this is not the question this is not the question if Allah already see, if see. Allah if Allah already he sent a blessing to Muhammad why Allah he is commanding the angel to ask him to send the blessing if he already sent the blessing because the, the the angels are the creation of Allah. So no problem, no problem. But Allah already sent the blessing. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. The pizza arrived already. Allah already sent the blessing. Why is asking the angel to send the blessing if he already sent the blessing? Why not? Why not? What do you mean? Why not? What, what do you What do you mean? Are you saying to me the blessing of Allah expired, so he can, he have to keep sending blessing over and over over? If Allah he blessed show Muhammad, me he said, show me he said, you see what you, what you are doing hmm? just because you pray to your Jesus doesn't mean Jesus need your prayer. Are you I'm not talking way? about that. Don't be stupid. I'm not. Yes, I'm yes. not saying Allah he need. I'm saying Muhammad he need now. You are saying to me, hold on, hold on, Abdul. Everybody is laughing at you. You Muslim, you have no brain. You are mental illness. Allah he sent the blessing to Muhammad. To who? To Muhammad. To who? To Muhammad. Yes. To, shut up. Shut up. Yes. Shut up. To who? To Muhammad, not to Allah. Shut up. So it's not Allah getting the benefit. We got that. We got that. We got that. Stop being stupid. This Allah, he sent. No, Allah, he sent. Allah, he sent a blessing to Muhammad. Why he need the angel to send more blessing to Muhammad if Allah already sent the blessing? Why he command the angel to ask Allah? Allah, please send the blessing. But Allah already sent the blessing. Answer. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you telling good what to do or not? Are you telling, Allah, look at the answer, guys. Look at the answer. Are you telling God what to do? Uh, yes, I I think God because he sent him blessing Allah, already. Allah, are you Allah, a donkey Allah, or Allah, what? So if Allah he sent him a blessing already, why he's asking the angels to ask him to send the blessing if he sent the blessing? Because Allah wants what do you mean Allah he wants? Is, he okay, does. that's mean your God is stupid. <laughs> it is you who you are you stupid. No, this is your that's who, mean you're stupid. You? Because who if, if because if Allah, Allah if Allah he blessed Muhammad already, there is no need for anyone to be asked to ask Allah to send a blessing because already he did that, he blessed him. If God wants something, he did he did it or not? This is not the question. If God he wants something, what's something already he blessed him? So why he is asking the Muslims and asking the angels to ask Allah to send a blessing if he already sent the blessing? I will use this same why you why Jesus need to kill himself to forgive you. Why he need it? Why? He did not why need you, you see this is forgive you. First of all, you are changing the topic. Secondly, Jesus did not kill himself, and anyone this he said that you are a liar, you are a liar, you are a liar, you are a liar, you are you are a liar. Are you, you are changing the topic, so you can run away. 
why God he in, is a blessing you he need to ask me to ask him to send a blessing to you when he already blessed you simply because he is good good to do what he wants to do but, but God is it, your God is a stupid your God is a stupid if already Muhammad is a blessed you are using your, your, your just your just just, just everybody is laughing right. at you everybody is laughing at you secondly secondly here here if we go in the Quran if we see the word Yusalli in Allah this is appear in many verses in the Quran. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What 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 I mean? What what I mean? What I mean? What I mean? It's not. I I will give you an example. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, in chapter thirty three, verse number chapter thirty three, verse number forty three, chapter thirty three, verse number forty three. Hold on, the same the same. Hold on, it is he, it's he who reach out to you. This is the Muslim translation. Bringing you out of darkness is that a true translation, or you or you don't agree with it? What did you say? In Arabic, it says, "Who will let you salli alaykum wa malaikatahu?" Yes. Okay. Do you agree with this or no? Allah, you salli alaykum wa malaikatahu. What is that for? What, 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 what is your point? Don't ask me for my point. Answer, and then you will get my point. This is what the Muslims do. They are afraid of my point. You are asking me what is my you are my point because you are terrified. What's you want to know, you wanna know my question? point before I before you answer, so you can play game with it. Answer me when it says "Who will you salli alaykum?" What does that mean? Allah sends blessings to to the, to to prophets and sends blessings to do to, what to do what to, to do what to do what. Show me the four the four verse. The, 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 Here we go. Who will let you salli alaykum wa malaikatahu li yuxrijukum min al zulmat ila al nur? Yes. Okay. He sends blessing to you because you are doing. He sent a blessing to who? He sent a blessing to who? He he sent his blessing to who? Is the blessing of is, is the blessing of Allah is to be sent? Is it something we can deliver? If Allah bless me, is that something He sent to me? It's spiritually, are you? Are, how it is Allah forgive your sins? This is this is how it is. No, Allah He said no. You. It's you said. Let it, let us read. Let us read together. It says, "He it is who who sent the blessing on you, so do His angels as do His angels." That he may bring you out of the depth of darkness. Do you agree with that? What he made boy darkness? Yes, I agree. Okay, guys, he agree. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, guys, he agree. Hold on, let me answer, guys. He agree. So Allah, He sent a blessing, and His angels they do the same. They do send a blessing. What is the purpose? So He may, He may bring you out of darkness. That's mean your God, Allah blessing, bring you nowhere. It's it's it maybe it's may may bring you. So why Allah oh send a blessing? In what? Arabic? What? No, no, it is different in Arabic. Abdul, I, I read true. the translation for you a second ago, and he said you agree. I ask you, do you agree with this? You said yes. But the, uh, you understand. Did you agree? Did you, did you agree when I read that for you? You said yes. So, so he may, I, 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 so I he may, I don't agree so with he may, you yeah, see the so he may take you out. Okay, now Allah, He sent the blessing, angels send the blessing. What is the blessing of Allah? Will do additional to the blessing of the angels. What that would do? How both are sending blessing, and that both will take you out of darkness, and maybe will take you, not necessarily. Do you know what what what, what he sent me? Hmm? What? Why he say he he why he did he say me? Why he said me? Go tell me. <clears throat> because it depends on the people. If the people good the, the good deeds, Allah will okay. Hold bring on. him out. If okay. The people doesn't want. No problem. Allah will leave him. No problem. Your God you now. Your God now in trouble because of you. Your God is going to punish you. No, and, no, and no, you let, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you what you did. You got your God busted because the verse says. He might take you out of the hold on. He might so he might take you out of your darkness, which means you are already in the darkness, correct? Those people they are in the darkness. Yes. Okay. 
if they are in the darkness how those who they are in the darkness they receive a blessing from Allah do Allah bless the kuffar if if, uh, if Allah knows <laughs> yeah. that, you see you see if Allah knows in, in their hearts that they, they will do the good things Allah will bring him from the darks to the light but your friend my friend you just said if Allah knows if Allah knows this is why he said may because he do not know same time Allah same time same time do you same time this is against the Quran this is against the Quran itself because the Quran says Allah will not bless those who they are kuffar Allah curse them Allah punish them Allah will kill them Laan Allah Qatal Allah so how Allah here is sending a blessing before they leave the darkness Allah he sent a blessing to Quraysh before send before they leave the darkness they are in the deep darkness the only interpretation for this that Allah he pray and this is what it says in Arabic that it is he who pray on you and the angels they do the same so may you became out of darkness he pray because if he send in a blessing and already they are blessed that's mean he do not need anything more they do not even need guidance they are blessed already I am a blessed only no, if I follow God let, let me ask you are you blessed if you are a kafir Yes. Shut up. Guys, he said, yes, I'm blessed. So I will go to heaven. <laughs> I am blessed even if I'm a what? kafir. <laughs> you are stupid. You know why? What a blessing you know mean? What a blessing yes, mean? What a blessing mean? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Plus, what, what is a blessing? You, 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 what Allah, what is the good to go to heaven? What? Because if you are blessed, the, a, 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 a blessing, my friend, my friend, the blessing is God, no, is, is God, you is God agreeing you. with what you do, you who you are. Allah and you do the good words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The just just go, and... just go, just go. Let your mom call me. I want, I want the man of the house to call me. I want the man of the house to call me. <laughs> Allah he sent a blessing in advance to who you know no, don't call me don't call me we are done that's it everybody's laughing and you will notice here when the verse saying that he may that makes sense that this is about praying so here this is the real meaning of the verse the word here it is he praying on you the most time they fabricate and they say blessing praying and now that makes sense and the angel they do the same and because it's a prayer so maybe maybe that will bring you out of your depth of darkness do you see it? But if you with the word blessing, that would be messed up. Muhammad always he do poo poo. He is not sure if those people they will accept him or not. He says, Allah, he pray on you, so as the angels. So maybe he bring you out of your darkness. He's not talking to believers. Because if if, if those are believers then why they are in the depths of the darkness they are in the depth of darkness because they don't believe in Islam they don't believe in Allah and this is all is against the teaching of Islam if we go if we go in the Quran we will find ton of verses saying that Allah curse those who don't believe you don't bless them Allah even curse a woman if she don't go to the bed of the husband and she's a Muslim even for that silly reason, Allah, he curse you. What about somebody he don't believe in Allah and Allah yet he will bless him? Allah has cursed the disbelievers 
and has prepared for them the place how he blessed them but they are cursed who is the stupid here the same chapter we are reading from the same chapter the Muslim they fabricate the translation they say it's mean Allah he sent the blessing so you may go out of darkness what does that mean they are cursed whatever to be found and kill them and slaughter them Allah bless them Allah will make them barbecue in the fire the day when their faces are flapped flipped into the fire Go, go. Don't call me again. You're a kid. This is how stupid this religion is. Either we are cursed or we are not. If we are blessed, then we are blessed. That's it. We do not need Muhammad. If me as a Christian, the guy he said, you as a Christian, you are blessed by Allah, that's me. We do not need Islam. We do not need Muhammad. We can stay as a Christians. In chapter 5, verse number 78, don't call me kid. In chapter 5, verse number 78, it says, Cursed were those who disbelieve from among the children of Israel and, and, and David and the follower of Jesus, etc. By the tongue of David, by the tongue of Moses, by the tongue of Jesus, they are cursed. So how Allah, he bless us. Do you see it? Stupidity. Anyway, guys, we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? No, when I say that your mom call me, I mean the man of the house. Because in case you do not know, many people, by the way, they think that Muslim men are in charge of the houses. Muslim men, they get beaten by their wives every day. According to study in Algeria, I think it was Algeria or Morocco, I forgot, that the most uh, household violent, domestic violent, is women beating men. Women beating women, women beating men. Muslim women are very aggressive. So yes, the Quran says that the man, he can beat his wife, but what's happening in the ground in reality, it is the women beating the husband. You will see the guy, he's five foot tall and his wife, she is in the size of a truck. She fought at him, he fly. One box, he's, he's bye bye. That's it. And good for the women, by the way. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> this is why Muhammad, he was saying, when he had a fight with his, his wife, that Allah and Jibreel and the angels and everybody will take his side. I mean, the fight is big because it's two women. Imagine, two women, not one. This is how dangerous it is. Fighting in America is easier, my friend. Two women in the same time against one man? And who is this man? A weak man like Muhammad who lost his teeth, which means he cannot even bite. This is not a fair fight. Yes, Ahmad. The verse that, the, the, that says... Uh, uh, go, you change your name, you can't go. go. I'm done with you. Go. The, the verse, the verse. You, you, you just answer me. You, we got you busted. You said that you are a blast. We Christians are blessed. Yeah. The kuffar who worship idols, they are blessed. And by the way, this verse was not about even the Christians. If you repent to Allah, then your heart have listened. But if you born together two women, 
against him Allah and Allah is his ally and Jibreel and every righteous believer and additional to that all the angels we spoke about that already this is how dangerous it is to have a fight with Muslim women if you are a Muslim man married to them they will eat you alive by the way by the way when a Muslim woman she do marry a man do you know what they do anyone knows they will do their best to keep you poor anyone knows why every day they will ask you for a new thing she will split coffee over the couch oh the couch is done we cannot have visitors now we have to change it why why she keep doing that the curtain the curtains are old uh, there's a cigarette burn the curtain here look uh, I want to change the bedroom she keep harassing you with spending money because she want to be sure that you will not have extra because if you have extra you will go and get a new wife so she will ask you for more money and she will save it because she is not sure if she will stay tomorrow in this house she will bring you a bill of many things she bought for the kitchen but you go to the refrigerator you find nothing there they are literally thieves and I don't blame them they want to secure their their tomorrow I remember once a Muslim lady she came to my mom I was a kid you know and she like you know my, my mom is in the kitchen and the, and the lady she come to my mom house to help her like a maid you know uh, but like let us say uh, part-time she's a Muslim so she said to her you know I fear jealous for Christian ladies my mom she said what do you mean she said you know like the food we are cooking I don't know in, in my house if I am going to eat from it. My husband always is angry, and sometimes I feel like he's going to divorce me anytime. Which means the food I eat, or the food she is cooking, she is not sure she will eat from it. So there's no security. And my mom is not worried about that. She's not worried about her husband coming back and say to her, You are divorced three times, and that's it, she's gone, she's history. This is why. Islamic family is always damaged even the children they hate each other I remember once I went to a Muslim kid I was a kid in the school with him you know we decide to buy some like uh, I forgot like ice cream or candy whatever so he said let me ask my dad to give me money I said okay so we, I went with him and then the, the 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 father imagine guys he asked the kid who is your mom he don't know his kid. He don't know. He don't know the kids he have. He's asking his son, "Who are you?" Literally, he's saying to him, "Who are you?" He could not recognize him. He's an old man, sitting in a chair in the front of the house, and he's asking the kid. He said, "Dad, give me money." He said, "Who you are? The son of who?" I was looking like, "What is?" He just called him dad, and he's asking the son of who. He was asking, "You are the son of which woman?" He told him, he put his hand in the pocket, he gave him some change. Other day, we went to the house of the of, of the, the, the kid, and then his brother, he was saying the F word to his mother. The F word to his mother. I said to him, how you say that to your mom? He said, no, his mom is not my mom. So the family is inside, is very, in a very bad shape, because each woman, she, she start teaching her children to hate the other ones. So you will find the family is very much divided. Women, they are jealous from each other. They hate each other. And they try to take as much as they can to their pocket from the other wife. This is why we see the story here, actually, presenting what happened between Aisha and Hafsa and the rest of the wives of Muhammad. Everybody was upset from Aisha because she was taking all the gifts and not letting anyone to give gifts to the house of other wives. This is why Christian marriage is the perfect marriage, perfect family. If you go in the Middle East, you will see the highest number of people who they are studying in universities are Christians, but yet they are a low minority as number. You go inside the university, you think that this country maybe is a Christian country because the majority are Christians. Why? Because a Christian family is successful. A Christian a Muslim family is corrupt. There's no family in the family. It's just a contract for sex. And this is why I say thank you, God. I am a Christian. 
not only that I am a Christian prince who defeat Islam every day who help Muslims to come to Christ every day Muslims are so upset if you go to Facebook you will see how much they are so upset from a Christian prince making videos ending career of a Christian prince you're right my career is ended and this is why Muslims are leaving Islam left and right because watching their my videos this is how stupid this religion and only stupid they follow something stupid as simple as that you cannot be a person who have little brain and then you follow such a cult even if you have a little brain you have to be mentally ill to believe that God will give you a endless penis a vagina fit for that orgasm of 70 years a couch a bracelet very silly stuff furniture I mean here we go go in the street of my I live in America you drive in your car you will find many couches for for free just take it just take it big screen TV just take it the garbage of America is better than the promise of Allah in heaven the garbage literally our garbage here is better than what Allah promised you in heaven that cannot be a promise of God my friend that is a promise of someone stupid speaking to a poor Arab who never saw something good who never saw a couch God he will not promise me that I will not have heat of the Sun unless he is speaking to the Arab that is not a good news for someone living in Alaska God will not promise me grape and wine mixed with ginger or ging you know ginger whatever ginger you call it because the Arab they like to drink ginger so Muhammad he had no choice but to mention it even in his heaven all the promises of Muhammad they proven to us that he is a corrupt man false man crazy man stupid man you name it selfish even his God he make verses and chapters just for the sake of his private part and his testicles and nobody questioned the dignity of this filthy man how dare you thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you tomorrow is a Friday for sure we will be here all right is it tomorrow is a Friday or I'm wrong oh hold on no yeah yeah is it anyway uh, tomorrow I hope we will be able to do live podcast too so please invite your friends subscribe and tell your friends about what we do and I hope that you guys taking notes and downloading the videos because those videos will disappear either by me or by someone else so you better download them because this free school will not repeat itself again twice time will come and Christian Prince will go the Lord will take him and he will not be here with you take advantage teach your kids save yourself and don't be a fool thank you very much for being here Christ is Lord and Islam is false I mean to that and see you soon again bye-bye